What up, y'all? What up? What up, y'all? How y'all doing? Welcome to another episode of Pierre's Panic Room. Like I said, Pierre's. Don't just say the Panic Room. You got to say the whole damn thing. Pierre's Panic Room. All right? When you see me on the street, don't say, I see you on the Panic Room. I'm going to keep on walking. You see me on Pierre's Panic Room. <laughs> but I love y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me every week. We got another great show. But before I do my show, you know how we do it. We break it down. We look into the comments. Some of y'all are vicious, man. So, uh, and I like to read them. So my crew gets uh, a couple of comments and we see what's up. All right. This one here with my man Goldmouth, the rapper Goldmouth. Um, Al Jamal Johnson says, Pierre, how do you know who to interview or are you just random with it? Is there a raffle, nigga? LOL. <laughs> what you trying to say? Because he's on it, he didn't deserve to be on it? Man, get the hell out of here. Let me go to your page and see if you welcome deserve to be on Pierre's Panic Room. Shit. That's what it is, nigga, okay? All right, Ricky Smiley Show. All right, so when... Uh, Ricky, Ricky Smiley breaks down recalling Pierre's generosity. Uh, my man, The Gold 23, says, Pierre is a real OG with a big heart. Keep doing your thing, brother. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I do have a big heart. I got a big mouth, too, but you know what I'm saying? So sometimes people don't know between my mouth and my heart. They think I'm, you know. But nah, well, a lot of why people come on the show a lot of times because they got love for me, okay? And these, these guests ain't easy to get unless I had, they had love for me. All right. Kay Harris says, I had to subscribe just off GP after hearing that story. Respect to both these brothers. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Kay Harris. Uh, keep throwing them comments in there. We're going to read your comments. And pretty soon, I think we're going to do something where we're going to give out something to people who leave good comments that we read or, you know, just comments, period. You know, I read all of them. You don't want to diss me. I read them. I'm going to keep it 100. All right, y'all. I'm very excited about this show right here. This is my man, like 100 grand. We go way back, man. Um, I just love to see him uh, work, man. And, and he, he surprises me every time I see him, man. He just does different things, voices, just his intellect, you know, just the whole vibe, his comedy, his realness, man. It's just a pleasure to see him grow in this business, man. Um, I knew he was a star when I ran into him way back in the early 90s. We, you know, we did shows together, man. I was like, this boy got it, man. And I'm so happy to see that he has risen, man. He's one of the true stars of comedy, man. He really is, though, brother. Really, really is, y'all. I want y'all to support him when you can. When he comes to your comedy club, please support him, man. Give it up for the one and only Mr. Godfrey, my man. Woo! All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes, finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give up, I'm scared. Damn, you hard to come by. Like, hold on, hold on. you're not my book now. We got to put the book back up. What, what, what book? Got? What book? Yeah, what book yeah, fell? Book, a book fell? Yeah, right. We keep the show going. I thought something broke. Well, it could have possibly This ain't a real couch. We keep it going. What's up? Oh, there's your book. Oh, brother. Man, shit. Oh, Halle Berry. There's a rock. There's Chris Rock. Tupac. Yeah. Eminem. Just put it staying in, too. That's how wrong we are. I like that. Okay. 100 homies and phonies. Hollywood, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, All right. First of all, let me tell you, man. Thank you so much for it. Come on. My boy. You, hey, I've known you a long time. Yes, yes. We go way back. We go back. I could not wait to do that. I said, man, I like that. I like your panic room. I watch all the comedy hype. I'm a fan of comedy hype. Cause I've been on it a few times. I didn't know that. I didn't know. It. But let's yeah. go. Okay, we're gonna go back. First of all, last night I saw you last night at the comedy club. I don't even know how you, you sat and watched me. You are a fucking beast. Thank no, you. brother. I would tell you if you did. I oh no, no, no. I know you are. Right, you did your thing, man. <laughs> no, I'm sitting there. Look, the show was. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth, man. I went with my, my assistant Tammy. Okay. I'm a little bit of a hater. You were rocking so hard, like bitch. We gotta go. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I wasn't sleepy. I was tired of hearing these niggas laughing at your ass like that. I said, fuck this nigga. I can't do it no more. You was killing. I was like, okay, we got to go. She's like, well, we got to go. Bitch, we got to go. I got to sleep. I got to get ready for the show tomorrow with him. We can't stay. You saw when you got off, I was gone. I couldn't take it no more. You're an old cantankerous nigga. That's huh? what I am. <laughs> oh, Shucky Dunkey type motherfucker. Right, that's so stupid. I Shout keep, out to Shucky. I keep telling uh, Pierre, I laughed. I've been laughing for days when you told Shucky Ducky, yeah. you were old cantankerous. Name. I laughed. I paused and I just started laughing because <laughs> it was so on point because he was so mean to you. He just kept good. on like, I mean, I'm Shucky, shout out to Shucky, but he was like, every time you asked him a question, he was like, I told you. Right. 
they was where to be, well, and then I got where to be, <laughs> and so they, they were telling teachers, and then you're like, this motherfucker, how did you get Shucky Ducky? Get to the point. He's like, I done told you, man, you old Oh, my God. Well, you know what? We've talked since then. But no, no, no. Right. Not, not, not down him, but no, that was just fucking hilarious, because you always, all your interviews are funny. I watch all your shit. I, no, I appreciate it. The Ricky Smiley one, the way yeah, he's yeah, getting yeah, emotional. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, Ricky's yeah, my dude. And I remember when he got shot, I was around him. Was we did a Kappa Carnival. We did Southern U Illinois University Kappa Carnival, and he had told me, yeah, I got shit. It was 90. Shit, six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was and I was right, like, right. damn, I remember that. I remember, really? yeah, Ricky, I've known Ricky. I've known all you guys. You know so funny? It's about, first of all, let me give a shout out because Shucky. Uh, so Shucky called me and said he apologized for how he felt. He was defensive. <laughs> he said that. And he looked at it, he said, you know what, Pete? I apologize. And you're right. And guess what he told me? What? He told me how he got the name off the phone, on the phone. He said, <laughs> he said he went to an oyster bar that was called Shucks. Okay. And then he went to a country western bar that was Duckies. Thank and you. And he came up with Shucky Duckies. That's all you asked. And then he was like, oh, you stole the shit. Oh, right, right. Well, so I, had no I had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go. Pierre is so, is so, see, Pierre. Sniper. Pierre, <laughs> Pierre does this thing where he talks. I'm going to tell you. He, he, you. he always knows. He's always ahead. Right, right. And, that, and, you, and when you said that, I said, that's Pierre got his ass. It's yeah, like, yeah. you won't contagious ass. <laughs> I'm trying oh, yeah. to ask you, where the fuck did you get Shucky Ducky? It doesn't make sense for where's the beef. Right. You're not fucking connecting it, and then you boom hit him, yeah. and he apologized. But right. it was like, man, but it was funny, right. and it's all love. But right, that was right, just right, right, right. hilarious. Not social media work, dude. I be good. showing people that it's at eight twenty-five. I pa I pause it. Really, really. At around eight twenty-five, nah, I go watch this. <laughs> I show Mike James. Mike James is who in the room. Who's a fantastic comedian man, he from night, Nashville? Yes. That's my man. One hundred grand. I worked with him before. He I, with me he's, once. but I met Mike in Richmond. Uh, so I met him Virginia, at Richmond Funny Bone. Come on now. And and I was like, this dude is the shit. I call him Southern Comfort. I like because he's that just a him. fucking mellow. He doesn't change. The coolest dude is on stage. He's the same yeah. guy murdering. I go, that dude is dope. He's That's a fan. And if you guys don't know Mike James, you need to look up. Mike sure. fucking James. It's for actually real. funny you said that because he had featured for me in for in the real. same place. Yes, and I was gonna bring him with me on the road, but yes. the pandemic hit. Okay, and so you know, then you know, then it didn't yeah. work after that. But I'm glad you brought him out because he deserves representing Nashville. Artie Fuqua with you, Artie, Ooh, my boy Fuqua. My Fuqua's been around as yeah, long as me. That's yeah. my brother. He's because yeah. Artie, you know, Artie was in that accident with Tracy Morgan. Sure. And Artie got a nice, handsome yeah, sum yeah, of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Artie is a very wealthy man yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which which you makes dressed. you mad. You go, you son yeah. of a bitch. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to get rich. Right, 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 you're supposed right. to get rich off your bullshit ass jokes, right, brother. Right, right, right. <laughs> Motherfucker. That's true. That's but true. I'm glad he's alive yes, because sure. the boy was in a coma. I remember. One person I, passed away. Wait, yeah, one person. Is Jimmy, is it just Jimmy some, Mack. Jimmy Mack. Mack. Yeah, I didn't sure. really know him, but yeah. I know there was Harris. Harris was in it. Harrison was in it. He's okay. Um, Trey's, of course. Then when I saw, I woke up to it in my hotel room. Mm -hmm. CNN was on, and they said accident, and they're pulling Artie out of the. I go, wow. I'm watching CNN. Like, are you fucking kidding me? And then he, you know, he he was okay. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. of course, he was in a coma for it, but but yeah. So Artie's been on the road with me, hosting the shows. He's the best MC. You mm -hmm. can't even fuck with Artie. Just his personality. Yeah. Keeps the room nice. Sure. Even in raggedy ass sure. rooms. Sure, sure, you know, sure. there's some rooms out in the country, you'd be like, ah, right. oh, here we go. You know, God you, damn. You, but you, Artie keeps that right. positive, you know, even though but, he's but, a psychopath. But, yeah, he's funny. The whole crew's, <laughs> you, you, got a, you got a fantastic I got a come fantastic see him, crew. All the comments gonna rock. Fuck it. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. But 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 you, let me keep talking about you, man. I ain't gonna lie, I've been a fan of yours. I might not have told you that, man, but I was a no, fan. No, you never man. did. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did. Well, I was, I'm a hater. I'm, I'm a cantankerous <laughs> no, nigga. But I, <laughs> so I'm not gonna let you know everything. But no, I really have, man, because let me tell you, and yes, this is gonna sir. sound weird. Mm -hmm. You did the black, and that's gonna sound terrible to say this, but no, you did go the black ahead. club, but you did the black club speaking well. Always. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And still, you were like, what up, my niggas? It wasn't like you spoke well. I spoke And you well. educated, and you went in yeah. rooms of rock where some of us had to go in the room and play, yo, what up, my bring it happy right. niggas that had degrees. You all were engineers <laughs> talking about, nigga, what up? I'm right, like, really? Right. right. And I was like, wow. Me, I used to go up because I started, I saw you in, I think you did all jokes aside. Yep, yep, yep. That's Chicago. That Chicago. was the number one black comedy club for seven years. Shout out to Raymond Lambert, Mary Lindsay, James Alexander. James Alexander, who was never around. He was one of the investors, mm -hmm, sure. but his grandmother was one of the founders of Delta Sigma Theta. If you're a Delta, out of the 22 founders, there's Alexander. James, I do have a Delta. I was a Delta gent in college. So boom, mm -hmm. there you go. Okay. So yeah, and you would come, you, Mark Curry. That's how I met everybody. Mm -hmm. Mark Curry, mm -hmm. Jamie Fox. it was like Ricky Harris. D.L. Harris, Har yeah, recipes, 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 Ricky Harris. Uh -huh. I, I met everybody, and big brother George Wilborn, 
you know, he's the one that got us into, because, you know, I was in a comedy team first before I met you. I think I did hear that. It was me and another guy who was tall as Mike James. Was, was, a white, six, was a white guy? It was a black dude. Black guy, okay. Alexander, I did, I did a comedy team for like a year. Yuck, I, yuck, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I wrote all the sketches and shit, but this motherfucker would be drunk all half right. the time, you know, and uh, he would forget the lines. So we're on stage in the middle of, we're opening up for Adele Givens and Harvey, oh, wow. you know. Yeah, so I'm like, motherfucker, you can't forget the lines, dude. Right. We're a fucking the team. team. I right. used to get mad. And then, I, and then I remember I was in the hallway of All Jokes Aside and Steve Harvey comes out and Steve's like, he's like, what's wrong with you? You know, I was like, yo, man, I'm just, my man is just fucking up the lines, boom, boom, boom. He said, yo, man, how much you getting? We were getting like a hundred bucks. Right, sure. He said, are you tired of splitting that shit? Right. I said, yeah, he said, cut his ass. And that's when I went solo. Wow. It was Steve Harvey. So Steve Harvey. As much as I fucking ma- ra- ra- imitate Steve Harvey, it was Steve Harvey that told me to leave that dude. Really? This is 90 fucking five or six. All right. Well, uh-huh. well, you, you, well, you told me something the other day. I didn't know. And I didn't know this, man. Mm. Okay. So you were born in Nebraska, which I didn't know that. Well, but my, because Nigeria, I'm Nigerian. Right. So is, is Nigeria pa- Nebraska? Ma- Nigeria's everywhere. Oh, okay. That's but right. it's cabs, but it, cabs I mean, all over. Let me everywhere. tell you why, though. Sorry, my father in Nigeria, in the, <laughs> there was a, a, a there's a famous war from Nigeria called the Biafra War. It's a big tribal war, mm-hmm. but it was over oil because oil Nigeria is the fourth leading exporter of oil. It's mm-hmm. very oil rich, rich country, yeah, sure. but poverty level, you know that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Same old shit. So my parents left. And and my father got like a, a a grant or something to Nebraska at this college it's called Dana College in Nebraska, you know, in Omaha, mm-hmm. and he uh, had a school to teach. My father was an educator for mm-hmm. forty five years in Chicago, so he he got he had to go to Nebraska, and that's when I was born. Right, right, then we right. went straight to Chicago. So wow. I was raised in Chicago. My brother was born there. My sister was born in Nigeria, right. except for me and my brother. So that's why I grew up in Chicago because my parents moved straight. Okay. To the north okay. side of Chicago, so. But would you tell me when you just you you had a walk on on University of Illinois? Oh, University of football, hey, hey, hey. football joint. First of all, Nebraska. Shout out to Gabriel Union, whose family's from Nebraska. Yes, yes. Malcolm X is from Nebraska. Okay. And Warren Buffett. That's all I got. All right, that's good enough. So, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's so <laughs> those are great. So yeah, I, I I went to University of Illinois as a pre med psych major. Ooh, wow. And yeah, it's Damn, Nigerian. Nigerian. Oh, okay, I keep forgetting that. I, I just think you're regular niggas from the street, man. I, I, I know. I, I think you said I'm from both. The street. Yeah, well, I'm both. Okay. But your dad, <laughs> right. my dad, is like you I have to study <laughs> medicine. You have to. You have to medicine. Medicine. You have to. You have to. You. He's not like medicine. It's medicine. like you can't argue with medicine. Right. You have <laughs> to. You have to do medicine. Medicine. You God damn. Like, you know, you could even like say, "Hey, I want to be a painter for what." Uh, yeah. You have Paint to some medicine. medicine. You have to. <laughs> right. you know, you're not gonna. Argue. Man, my father told us we were going to college when I was five, bro. Wow. Yeah, that's instilled in you. Like right, he's right, like, right, oh, yeah. when you go to college, then you. The, they, they already. You, yeah. It's like Jewish community. They right. teach you how to be business people right. when you're little. Nice. It's that that's installed in you. You just go, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go to college. Right. It's just a normal thing to say. Right. 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 You know sure, what I mean? You sure. don't go. I don't know. My father's like, no. What, what do you mean? What do you mean no? you have I tell you what do. Yeah. Right. After you go to college, then you can do what the fuck you want. Nice. Okay. So that's how. I mean, University of Illinois. I I walked on the team, the football team on a on a dare. Yeah, it was a dare. It's weird because if you know Reuben Paul. I know, of course, my man. One of another fucking beast of a comedian. Mm-hmm. He's Shout Haitian. Ruben, He's of yeah. Haitian yep. descent. Yep. From LA. He has Ruby Tuesdays, mm-hmm. which is dope. He mm-hmm. he's traveling with George Lopez, right? He's been writing for Lopez for a long time. Peter Russell Peters too. Russell he's written yeah. for Russell Peters. A lot of big he's one of the first of all, one of the funniest dudes who should be recognized sure. and one of the coldest writers. On pen, mm, mm. mother I know for years. I know Ooh, for years. He's a fucking fantastic writer. Good. Shout out to Ruben Paul, one of my other brothers. Um, he's I I went on a dare on a, I went to college with one of his mentors. Okay, this guy named Marlon Primus, who was a really who was our free safety. He was a real talent. He could throw the football, but in, at the time in University of Illinois, they didn't want black dudes to be quarterbacks. Oh, that's all man. facts. Cause the the alumni, they were like they 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 would convert all the black dudes into to defensive wide guys oh. or wide receivers or different. Yeah, because and I knew this. There's so many dudes that could throw. They were right. like, I'm a quarterback, but they made me a defensive back because they were racist as fuck wow. at University of Illinois. Shout out to University of Illinois. Yes, <laughs> and you talk about forty five thousand students, eight hundred black. You know, eight hundred of us. That was it. And. We had all the fraternities. We had the largest fraternal system, 52. We had Deltas. We had Sigmas. We had the Alphas. We had AKAs. We had SG and Rose. We, yeah, we had Iota Phi Theta. We had Iota Phi. We had all of them. Okay. We had the biggest fraternity system in all of uh, 
in all of America. Okay. Yeah. So did you play? Or how I, did that work? Did I played. It? I walked on. I went. I, you know, you they test your your speed. I was right. a four four. 40 okay. yard dash. I, I could catch. I played f football one year. Shout out to my high school in Chicago, Lane Tech High School. It's Lane the biggest Tech. school. It's the biggest school in Chicago. It was number one right along with Michelle Obama's school, Whitney, Whitney Young. So it was number one in academics, number one in athletics. So shout okay. out to okay. Lane Tech High okay. School. I always because so, everybody that watches, they'll be like, there's a lot of people Lane Tech, like, yo, he shout out Lane Tech. Right, no, right. I you. So you um, played you played a season. Yeah, I played a season. I stayed on for like three years. I was a wide receiver. I really? stayed on for like three years. Yeah, but walking on is harder because you're not on scholarship. Oh, yeah, I just did it on a dare. And then I'm like, I made it. Hey, I'm on the team. It's that easy, man. But it sucks because you're playing on the you're playing on the meat squad, then you get to play some games, then you don't. So it was oh, cool. It was a good I... experience. To see a lot of my friends in the NFL was right, cool. Right. You know, I went to school with Kendall Gill. I met Kendall Gill. Yeah, you know, yeah, Kendall yeah, Gill, when he played, he played for like the Nets. He played right, for right, right, so right. I went to school with Kendall Gill, Nick Anderson, when what, he was with uh, when he was with Magic, which played with Shaq. What so. made you change from that to comedy? I mean, damn, you know, your father wants you to be a pre med dude and yeah, your football. Now you gotta yeah, tell some jokes, buddy. Yeah. Was it impersonations? Let me show you how it happened. All right. <laughs> no, I was. See, here's the thing too. I don't know how it, it was for you. But I was always a funny dude. Right. We were in the neighborhood. Jonin, Everybody's funny. Snapping, you in D.C., right. Chicago. Mm -hmm. Well, I was always funny, but I didn't think about doing comedy. Even when I saw Eddie Murphy's Raw, I didn't go, oh, I want to be a comedian. I was just like, wow, it's Eddie Murphy. It's, sure. We were always, my sister's funny, brother's funny. Everybody's funny. I have friends that are funny as fuck, you know? Um, and, I, and impersonations, I just... I was doing that when I was five. I was doing okay. Ali. Really? Yeah. Wow, wow. I was five going, I'm fast, I'm pretty, I shook right. up the world. Right. I told you, Joe Frazier's too ugly to be yeah, a right, channel. Right, 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 I was wow. doing that, and all my uncles from Nigeria would give me money. They would be like, do Muhammad Ali, do it again. And I'd really? be like, I'm fast, I'm pretty. One dollar. Every time you do that, I'll give you a dollar. Yeah, my wow. uncles from Nigeria. Because Muhammad Ali was huge know, in Africa. I know, but I didn't know you did that as a young age. My father yeah. would watch Ali fights. And then I would go, I'm fast, I'm fast. Give him dollar. Give him dollar. But go to school. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You go to school. Yeah. He would the That's the first thing in our Nigerian relative <laughs> right. asks you, how are you doing in school? Cool, right. So, but how did That's you get, the first thing. So, what did you do comedy? How did you get into comedy? Um, in college, it was like my third, third year. Well, I was a, uh, a junior. Okay. And Tommy Davidson came. Okay. To the to Shout our college, DC. Tommy Davidson, who is still dope as fuck, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and he he was I was like because I was thinking about doing it because because I know some some of my college friends were dude that come to see you know how you see your friends that you went to college with they say man you still that same dude you used to hold court in the cafeteria I used to hold court in the cafeteria because I was really militant. First of all, I was right. militant. You're at a white ass college, I'm, right, right, and all the black people stick together, and then. You know, we we would we would go to the African American Cultural Center, and we would have a we had a book club that we started, because we were like, yeah, we gotta start reading books about us, man, because they've been they've been teaching us this bullshit. So we started buying books from like friends that I own black bookstores in Chicago. We would start bringing books down to to the campus. So we started a book club. So we had Sister Soldier come through. Oh, nice. We had Eleanor Holmes Norton, who's still mm -hmm, a senator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We had uh, Stokely Carmichael. His his lecture is on YouTube. I was in the audience at that time. Right. We had Quinny Turner changed his name to Kwame Ture. We had um, we had Sis Soldier. We had um, I had Ralph Abernath. We had we had all right. of them come to our fucking school. We brought them all. We had political prisoners, Native American. So we were that crew that right. the university right. was trying right. to shut down. So I'm, this is this all is important. Right. So I used to always go to to see Farrakhan for uh, Savior's Day. Mm -hmm. I was. I went. I would go see him live in Chicago. I would go in Chicago because sure, sure. the mosque is in Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would go on Saturdays to see Farrakhan talk. So I'm to see Farrakhan in person. Much different. It man it blows your way. Mm -hmm. Man, I've had people gone, and I'm not. I'm not. I never joined the nation. They'd be like, you should join. I was like, I don't want to join. I don't like all that extreme shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just, I just want to listen. Right. So sure. I was that dude. So I would bring Farrakhan tapes to the fucking my dorm room with my Ooh. white roommates mm -hmm. playing that shit playing Farrakhan you don't understand <laughs> white people oh, da, right. da, 
Yeah, and everybody, could you turn that down? <laughs> <laughs> could you turn that down? It's like racist. Right, right. right. Like, and I'd be like this, say, man, stay on your fucking side, white dude. God damn. Stay on your, I was fucking militant. But it was one of those things you're listening to public enemy. Sure. Right, big daddy, all the five percenters. All righteous teachers, all that. Brad Try, Nubians. Brad Nubian, who, that's my boy, Lord Jamar. Lord Jamar Shout out yeah. to Lord Jamar and Raw Dig. I do their podcast, the Yadamine podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, Lord Jamar. So it was like, I was that dude. And then- I started to incorporate it when I was be in the uh, lunchroom. I'd be like holding court, telling jokes, but throwing in all the black shit. And then this girl that I was dating at the time, it was like a rebound chick. She like wrote down everything I had said one night. And she was just like, yo, I said, what is all this shit? She goes, you keep talking about you want to do comedy. When you get back to Chicago, you need to fucking try that shit. I said, yeah, I've been thinking. I said, and that's when, and then I saw Tommy Davidson. Then I showed Tommy Davidson around campus. He hung out with us. Oh, nice. So then that was when I got, went to, I got back to Chicago. I started doing the open mic shit. Right. Got with my partner, the, the duo right. thing, then left that, then started doing solo shit. So you graduated with a degree of the psychology. Wow. And then. Did that, did that help in comedy? Yeah. I mean, it's all psychological. The reason right. why people laugh. I mean, everything is psychology, business psychology. Why you, why you sell shit is psychological. Why people follow you is psychological. It's all, mm -hmm. psychology is almost like a cheat science. Mm -hmm. You know, everything we do right now, they just go, that's called, that's right. called double dialogue. It's just terms, they, it's everyday fucking interactions. I love it. I love, I love that abnormal psychology because I like the crazy shit. Like, why the fuck are they doing that shit? I like mm -hmm. bipolar shit. That was what I was more interested in. Okay. Cause I was I was gonna get into psychiatry and shit, right. you know, sticking people with needles and see what happens. Oh, we glad and shit. you're here. We glad you're here. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I was like, put you, him in the room. Because <laughs> I met you like early '90s, God man. Damn it. And we were walking around uh, Detroit together. Remember we Detroit? We were night? doing all jokes aside, in Detroit on Woodward Avenue yeah, when they were trying yeah, to boy, open yeah. up in Detroit. Yeah, yeah, and I hung right. with Pierre. I was opening up for Pierre. Yeah, yeah. And Mike Bonner and yeah. Bach and Bonner was the yeah. shout out to Mike Bonner, and Pierre has never changed. Pierre Shout has out. always been nice <laughs> as fuck to us. You, Tony Woods, mm -hmm. you and Tony Woods, these DC motherfuckers, boy, you took care of my ass like a motherfucker. Always gave me good advice. Mm -hmm. Always made me feel confident. That's real shit. No, he has never, good. ever changed. And, I, and I'm like, Pierre Edwards, man, I see him on Def Jam, football, and I'm hanging with him. Right. He's like this, man, let's go we'll get something to eat. I'm like, oh, shit, no, you, Pierre. Yeah, 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 no, you man. were always fucking dope. I, I, I always, never, comics. ever. And funny as fuck, because you, you were one of the few comics that had really good material, too. I appreciate that. You had good material. You always you knew how to, you knew how to milk a subject, mm -hmm. move on to, you had good transition. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, we coming from the black circuit. Who likes the fuck? Right, 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 right. <laughs> shit, right. <laughs> DJ, kick it. That bullshit. No, you know, That's real shit, give yeah. it up for chicken wing, y'all. Yeah. Give it up for chicken wing. The next brother, hot sauce, come on up. You know? and, and, but you, you were just really a fucking well, well written jokes, even though they were for the hood. Right. But you, they were. I said, look at all this fucking transition. The exactly. You, I like you milk jokes. Right, you right, layered right, them. Right, I was right, like, right, yes. Right, right. And sometimes we don't. I heard people. You ever see people do a premise and then move on? Move like, on. Motherfucker, you ain't talking about. Look, man, niggas can sing. Yeah. Anyway, right. when I was fucking. <laughs> right. Yeah, y'all. You, you like? You like the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Then they take the drink, you know, yeah, you know yeah, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 I know yeah. you like. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that mother out with your sweater is tight though. Hell yeah. Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you talking I about? I call it black hack. Oh, black hack. You know like there is black name. hack because right, there's right. and this is not. I don't know every comedian, the new sure. generation of comedians, but um, I see some comics. You go, oh, they're copying what they think comedy is. Because mm -hmm. I see so, yeah, some yeah. comics go up and go, nigga, I know. I'm like, you're not like that. Right. Because they're copying what they see. Because the internet can give you anything. You can literally take somebody's act mm -hmm. and kind of get away with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so the way we did it, we did it raw. We didn't have internet. We didn't have none of that shit. Everybody was just kind of, well, some people, a lot of people stole shit, but right, right. we had ooh, to ooh, develop ooh. our own shit sure, sure. on our own. You couldn't just look at, oh, let me look at YouTube right. and find, no, right, we had right. to no, shit. develop sure. our own shit. That's why I respected your shit. You were so different. You Nobody was doing the shit you were doing. But but, but same thing, you you have a weird, and take this as a compliment, you have like a black nerd, but militant. I'm like, very you know, nerdy. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. You got all that going on. I like, love Just it. when you think you were real square, it's like, hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I'll kill you. He'll, he'll throw some knowledge on you that yeah. ain't, you know. And I can dozen, like, I can do the dozen. I'm a I'm from Chicago. Man, I'll talk about you and I'll light you the fuck yeah, yes up. You will. Like, yes, you <laughs> but see, but I used to purposely do this. Like when I 
When I started, I said, man, I was doing the Main Street. I do this place called the, um, it was called the Fallout. It was um, Funny Firm, Funny Firm in Chicago. Okay. It was mainstream. And I was like, man, I need to do black shit, man. Where can I go? And this dude said, you need to go to Cotton Club and go see Bernie Mac. I said, who the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, just go Cotton Club on Mondays. Mm -hmm. He has like a variety show. I said, all right, let me go over there. So I go over there, man, on Monday night, and I see this motherfucker. With a towel and shit. And Bernie's mm -hmm. like, I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of being a motherfucking sick and tired. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm telling you, motherfucker. Uh, mm -hmm. I was like, who the fuck? And he's murdering. I was like, damn. He said, man, you got to go talk to Bernie. Ask if he wants to be on stage. Mm -hmm. So I went up to him and I said, uh, uh, you Bernie Mac? He said, that's my name. You know. I said, well, I'm, I'm interested in uh, doing uh, open mic. He said, okay. Next week, five motherfucking minutes. Right. Da, 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 da. I said, all right. And that's how I started doing comedy at the, uh, com, mm -hmm. the Cotton Club. The click, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you know, oh, the click. I remember, I remember that still. Yeah, Man, that fucking get these rooms were fucking. It's all pimps, right? Hustlers and Michael Jordan. I love it. It'd yeah. be it'd be the Bulls would be there. It'd be Michael Jordan, Ahmad Rashad, Scottie Pippen arguing with some chick, and then it would be That's Bishop funny. Don That's Juan. It'd be Bishop Don Juan with a bunch yep. of pimps, hustlers, and that was what we did every Monday. You know what I'm saying? And we do the click where right. it was some more gangsters right, right. up, sure, up sure. the street. Sure, sure, sure. And that's when I ran into Mike Epps. Mm -hmm. And I would, Cedric the Entertainer, because he was from St. Louis. Right, right. I would, so you would see everybody came through the Cotton Club, man. To, to me, Chicago is my favorite co place to do comedy. Yeah. I'm not even bullshitting you. Yeah. Chicago is my favorite. Even, yeah. I love my hometown, D.C. I love yeah. that. But Chicago, and I'm going to tell you why Chicago, they yeah. get it. Yeah, I can be in a pizza hot, pizza yeah. hole in the wall club and shit. Those selling pizzas and shit. I can be in a theater. Yeah. I can be in a, any kind of club, yeah. nightclub, and y'all get it. Y'all yeah. get the jokes. Y'all don't take yeah. it personally. You know what I'm nah. saying? To me, it didn't take it personally. As nah. long as you funny. Yes, now, it. I, I tell you That's what. All we care. <laughs> yeah, as long as long as, long as you're you funny as, as, long as, as fuck. Funny, they don't give a damn and, about anything. And, and else. the thing yeah. about Chicago, you be in there, it'd be straight gangsters like Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray is from oh, Chicago. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, yeah. Lisa, Lisa Ray was be there yeah. at Common. Right. Everybody in Chicago. You know, you had right. D. Ray Davis right. you had, and Corey Holcomb. Well, well, I was going to ask you about that. Okay, because I used to love being from D.C. I still am. Yeah. Because the comics we had back in the 90s, from yeah. Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Tommy oof, Davis. Oof. Dave Chappelle. Oof. Wanda Sykes. Oof. Uh, we, we, Ashley Larry. Oof. Uh, Teddy Carpenter. <laughs> Donnell Rollins. Uh, uh, Donnell Rollins. Yeah. Um, who else? Tony Woods. Tony Woods. We had, we had, I, I, I Good lineup. So Rocking so many. But now, I got Chicago. Chicago. Ain't no, woo! Can we do our. And now, your Chicago Bulls. Start lineup. You had me. Yeah. You had Corey Holcomb. D Ray. You had Bernie Mac. You had Kenny Howell. Kenny Howell. Yeah, Kenny Howell. You have, um, oh, we have uh, Adele Givens. Uh -huh. We have uh, Sherry Shepard. Yeah. We have uh, Cheryl Underwood. Lil Rel. We have Lil Rel. Come on. We have uh, uh, Je Jeff Brown. Well, Jeff Brown, he went to LA, but he was right, born right. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. We have Rodney Perry. Right, Rodney from Perry. From Chicago. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, yeah. We got a lot more. We got Hannibal Burris. You can hey, say hey, what hey, you hey, want. Nigga, but hey, hey, nigga. Come it's, no, 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 as far, you know, he's no good. As far as alternative comics, Hannibal Burris. Is from Chicago, and and you know he's like a him. he does. Here's the thing I love about Hannibal. First, that's my man. I mean, he, his his videotape is what got Cosby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the one that started the Cosby. That's roll what started the, the yeah. Cosby snowball. Uh, yeah, because he was on stage and mm -hmm. da, 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 yeah, he yeah. said something about Cosby and the rapist, and then people said we're using that. You know, and, and, and but it, I don't think it was him that. I don't know if he caused it, but but it woke it up. It woke it up. Because yeah. some people knew about it, it was on the yeah, low I'm not low. blaming you know but Hannibal. It, but it woke, like, it woke it up. Yeah. And, and all, but sometimes a white person recorded it and they sent that shit off. They wanted yeah. to start the shit. And, and it it's started. too bad for Hannibal because he was just doing comedy. Right. It was just like, that's why when people record shit, well, well, here's you know my what I mean? Question. Yeah. The Mill Millington asked, why was you on Showtime talking about Bill Cosby, but, the oh, documentary, but if you brother? watch it, I did it, I did a good job because I didn't dog him. Okay. Because I worked for Cosby. Right. My right. first my first gig coming to New York City was audience coordinator for the second the CBS show. Right, right. right. So I got interviewed and they say, Yeah, they want you to do Cosby, blah, blah. I was like, Oh, word, Bill mm -hmm. Cosby. I was like, mm -hmm. shit, okay. Mm -hmm. So um I went over there and I started working. I was when I was living in Queens, mm -hmm. Queens, New York. And I was like, okay, uh, that was the year his son was murdered. Oh, wow. I was yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I was doing the audience, you know, warming up to the yeah, audience. Sure, I would sure. introduce mm -hmm. Dr. Cosby, Cass, Felicia Rashad, right, right. Madeline Kahn. That was the CBS one, right, Dougie right. Doug. Right, I remember that. And Dougie Doug's on it. Right. Shit. Is He's he on, on the. Doug. Yeah, uh, Chris Spencer's on it. Yeah, but I can see them. But you! No, yeah, because I worked for the. And right. Kamal Bell, who's from Chicago also. Yeah. He's from Chicago. He said, hey, man, I know you worked for Cosby. 
I uh, want you to do this. I said, yeah, but I knew I wasn't going to be there to dog Cosby. I was there to, I praised him a lot okay. about what he's done. Yeah. Every, every era Cosby's been in, yes. the 60s, I Spy, first black man to be on a national network television show with Robert Cope. 60s, he changed the game. 70s, he had a Cosby show mm -hmm. in the 70s when he played a gym teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cosby show, Al Fat Albert, animated series. He was doing Electric Company with Morgan Freeman oh, okay. and okay. Rita Moran. Electric Company was a kid right. show sure, sure, sure. before Sesame Street. Bam. He was doing that. He was doing picture pages. He was doing Texas Instruments. Mm -hmm. You know, the calculator. He was advertising for Jell-O. So Cosby was literally changing the image of African Americans right. and television single-handedly, sure, sure, which I was agree. fan. And it's like, and I was talking about a lot of that. Now, as far as like, I talked about. There's a video of him on Larry King talking about how you put Spanish fly in someone's mm -hmm. drink. I didn't do that. He was on there right. talking about it. But I added. I, I heard I was doing. I didn't watch it. I heard I was funny. I didn't dog him. So right. I was like, people say, "Why are you on there?" Right. I go, "Because I'm an adult and I can do what the fuck I want." First off, <laughs> right. and you know who the fuck <laughs> yeah, you right, telling right. me what? Why are you over there? Right, right, huh? Right, right. So I, I, I usually make decisions that I think are smart for me. Right, I right. guarantee you, sure. if I did a lot of fuck shit, I'd be on a sitcom by now. Ooh. Okay? Ooh. But as Ooh. much as I talk, I, I big up black women on that, on on platforms. Right. I talk, I go, no, black women are the shit. I do that no, kind of shit. Do. No, you do. I, I and I get it. blowback from women of other races going, but does that mean you have, go, that doesn't mean I hate other women. Right. I love women, period. Right. You're, but black women don't get any fucking props right. for shit. Sure. And black men shit on black women in public forums, mm -hmm. which is fucking whack. Mm -hmm. And this is not me to get black girls to like me. No, this is all facts, man. Right. Sure. I do. I did it on Vlad. I said black women are the shit. I did it three years like three years before the George Floyd shit. Mm -hmm. My shit went viral when George Floyd shit happened. All that pro-black shit, right. everybody was sharing my shit right, now. Right, I right, said, right. I said that shit. Yeah, a long time ago. I didn't right. wait for George Floyd to happen. Right, I right. said that shit a long time ago. And I said, but those are the things I say. Right. See, if I didn't say that shit, mm -hmm. if I did throw black women under the bus and say dumbass colorism bullshit, I would be on a sitcom. Mm. Yeah, you know, I mean, not saying that everybody's mm. on sitcom is a sitcom. No, I'm saying right, that there's certain things that I don't do because right. that's just not in my fiber. Dude, I'm the way, way my the way I'm I was way. raised and the way you got the way the Nigerian culture is, I can't do fuck shit. Right. They'll be like, "No, we are we are watch. We are very well, proud of you." <laughs> you well, know, you gotta right. understand. Well, that's why and I, I always got to so keep my manhood. Right, black manhood is trying to be taken down, and I got to keep that shit. Right. They're trying to literally fucking destroy it. And I'm not going to let that happen under my watch. It's not going to happen. And that doesn't mean being angry or nothing. I just said black manhood. They're really, it's like this, it's like an intimidation or something. Mm. It's like they're trying to shut it down. You just look at a lot of our heroes, these strong men, they take down all the fucking time. Mm. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm a big Denzel fan. Well, well let me ask you a question. Because well, okay. he makes sure you ain't taking his shit down. Right. You know, speaking of, speaking of Vlad, you stopped doing it. I, was, I just popped out of nowhere. What the hell? Was that I about? stopped doing Vlad, and I did Vlad because I liked the interviews. The interviews sure. were dope. You was dope on it. Yeah, Shit. Red Man. I said, I said, man, he's a. Good. I said, let me try to get on because I was working at Sirius XM. I had a show on this one station. I don't even want to give him any right. fucking props. Okay. And it was a black station, conservative station, mm -hmm. and um, I was on there. I got a job from there because they say, hey man, we, we'd really like you to be on this, this. Um, uh, station I said well I've never done radio and I know it's real corporate -y shit and I don't like people like hovering over me and shit sure. I hate that sure so they were like no we really wanted you you're real edgy I go are you sure you want this kind right. of smoke sure. sure sure I said I'm a, I'm a different kind of motherfucker I'm like right I'm pro-black but it's different right I say you sure they say no nah. because it Al Sharpton is on the channel I said okay that's not too bad but I said I don't know and then I started I got on Sirius XM and then I had an hour show, and then everybody was like, Godfrey needs more than an hour. So I moved within 10 months to two hours, prime time. I remember that, too. I, yeah, it was called the Godfrey Complex, okay. like God Complex, okay. and I was murdering. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Too, I had, too much, though. I had a black fact every day. We call it like Aflac. It was like black fact. That's funny. Boom. Oh, yeah. We did that. I had black facts every single day. I said, we're not waiting for February. Love it. Fuck that. By the time February comes, you're not even going to notice it because you're going to be so knowledged up. Mm. You're not going to need February. Love it. It's going to be it's going to be play school shit. I'm going to give you real shit, more shit. Not listen, nothing from Martin Luther King. I'm not taking nothing. That, but we learned about him January. Then you learn about him in February again. It's like I love Martin Luther King. I would never do. But it's like there's other people. Sure. 
Other than Rosa Parks, let's talk about the Claudette lady who actually sat down first before Marcus Rosa Garvey, Parks. So many people, but so she many was dark skinned, so they were like, we'll use Rosa Parks because she's light skinned to, mm, to, to promote right. the whole boycott, you know? Mm, so let's, mm. let's do real shit. So I was doing that on that station. But the thing was, is all the, and like black truck drivers, I, I actually recognized, I say, I wanna give a shout out, and I would do this, I'll give a shout out to all the black truck drivers out there, all the truck drivers that are driving the big rigs, the women. Mm. I just was fucking around. I get a swarm of calls from all these black truck drivers calling me. They say, man, ain't nobody recognizes us, man. You're the first person that has recognized us on this station. You're a real dude, man. That's, that's normal, And I dude. said, really? No, you guys are the subscribers. Truck drivers right, are the right, major right, subscribers right, right. of S Series XM. He was like, no, nobody recognizes us, man. And you know, you don't, and you're the only one that recognized the racism in trucking. I didn't know that. I said, there's racism in trucking? They say, hell yeah. These, these cats be talking over the mic, uh, over the CB going, nigger this, nigger that. What? And then when we see them at the truck stop, they mad quiet. He's, and then these wow. truck drivers be like, I had to knock out a couple white boys. And, I, and so I started getting this big truck driver like fan base. Sure. They come to my shows, break man. Break one now. Break one. Yeah, yeah. The I, like, I, just, the I said, this is this chocolate coffee. thunder right here. <laughs> Just Black Eagle, baby, 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 baby <laughs> right, you know. Right, right. But I was doing shit like that. I was, I was doing different shit. And people were like, man, I had people, when I first got on that, you know, remember, remember, it's all like conservative black folks. So when I first got on there, I, I started yelling on purpose. I said, what's up, everybody? What the fuck? <laughs> and then people were like, at first... I remember old black people was like, at first, I didn't like you. I thought you were loud. I thought you were ignorant. But I didn't realize how much you knew. You're so smart it's and like, intelligent. Da, da, da. So I had old people. I had little kids that, this is an adult show. Right. Man, I had people letting their kids listen to my shit. Because they really? were like, my kids have been reading every time you bring up a new book. They've been reading more. Nice. They've been, I remember we were talking about black people not being able to swim. Okay. Okay. Not being able to swim. Like, there's a lot of black people I know that can't swim. And I know there's black people I know that can swim. Right, I'm about to say. There's a lot yeah, of black yeah, people that I know yeah, that can swim. Right. All my friends, we all can swim. swim. Right. If you right. couldn't swim in Chicago, we would laugh at you. Like, how the fuck can't you swim? Right, right. Like, right. we made fun of you. That's why some kind of some bullying is still, myth, yeah. should need, still be instilled. Mm -hmm. You should be made fun of if you can't swim. How the fuck can't you swim? Right. You know, and I, and I did an episode. I go, yo, man, you black folks, man, I'm getting tired of you motherfuckers not being able to swim, but you always at a pool party. Ooh. I don't get it. You're always at a fucking pool party. Learn how to swim first before you go to your pool party. <laughs> after I did that episode, I had women in their 60s going, after that episode, we have been taking classes at the YMCA. That I just went at a different angle. I didn't do this, we all need to just go down. I said, huh. stop going to the pool party. Right. You know. And I said, instead of swimming for leisure, swim for emergencies. What if your kid is drowning? Think about emergency like, oh shit. Think about emergency. Like My that. father was a swimmer. He made us swim at two, three years old. We was deep enders at five, grabbing bricks from nine feet up and bringing them up. That's what we did. My sister, we all swam. Mm. My father said, you have to swim. Right, sure. Man. There's water sure. everywhere. How can you not swim? <laughs> the, 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 the whole the <laughs> planet is 80% water and you're not swimming. Right. Fuck it. Right, right. Your body's 80. How the fuck can't you swim? But 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 hold on, hold on. How you be able to, you gotta be able to swim, read, and drive. Right. There's a lot of uh, words, road, and water. Please. I love it. Sounds good. Stop. But 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 hold right. on. How, how does that have to do with you not being on Vlad anymore? Let That's me show you. Okay. So I left, I got fired from I I no, I was because a dude hooked me up at Sirius XM. I said, hey man, I'm gonna do this Vlad thing. And this dude was like, yo, I got I know Vlad, I know his people, I'm gonna hook that up. I said, bet. That's how I got it through Sirius XM. Oh, okay. And so I got on there because me and Vlad knew the same people and sure. shit. You know, he had the same barber I had. And I was like, boom. And I met, I didn't know he was white. Right, right. Like, Russian. Russian dude, mm -hmm. Ukrainian, bro. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shit, you white. I didn't know because he was off camera. Right, sure. And I was like, okay. So we just started rolling. Me And then me, Lord Jamal, I was like, and people was like, man, we love you on Vlad. And it was fun. Right. I knew what, the, what I was there for. Right, sure. I was sure. there to get numbers, there to just keep relevant. And it was working. It was, you know? it was killing it, bro. It was working. It so was I get to do voices, just act a fool. I was there for numbers. And all of a sudden, you know, he's interviewing D.L. Hughley. And he's talking about Minister Farrakhan. And he's like, yeah, I don't like what Farrakhan said. Da, da, da. I said, first of all, you don't have to agree. There's black people that don't agree with Farrakhan. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But I was like, what did he say? And it was a speech that I heard. Because I listened to Minister. I've listened for years. Right. So I watched him do one of his last speeches on 4th of July. Okay. And, you know, he's a little older, so he goes a little slower. So I was like, I listened to the whole thing. And then Vlad said, yeah, minister said 
day. We should throw rocks at Jewish people. I say, he didn't say that. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't, he don't talk like that. Right. He don't never say no shit like that. And I was like, he talks about the discrepancy, you know, the fighting between the Jewish community and the black community, but he never said no violence towards Jews. Never. I, he never right. said that. And I said, you lying, dude. He didn't say that. He used a metaphor. What he said was, as Muslims, we take the rock of truth and we throw it right. at e that's he's a, a very metaphor. intelligent right, man. Right, sure. He's a master violinist, if you know that. He's mm. a master, he's a very intelligent man. I said, he didn't say that, dude. Stop, dude. And right. and and he goes, I, I said, Well, uh -huh. me and Lord Jamar called him. We said, We ain't gonna be no bitches. We're gonna fight we're gonna confront sure, you. Sure, really. And sure. say, hey man, you gotta you're gonna send an apology. A rebuttal, bro. right, right, right. And he right. goes, I said one. He goes, that looked like a technical difficulty, dude. You did not send an apology, bro. Send an apology. And we're talking to him, he goes, well, I said, I, I, I'm not going to be bullied. No one's bullying you, dude. Mm -hmm. Don't, now you, now you a white dude again. Now you doing being white boy now. Mm -hmm. Now you, you know, you, 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 you taking off, you sucking off a of black, black culture. You taking all, you know, you making money off black culture. Mm -hmm. You, you fuck with black girls. Shame on them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh shit. And now, you know, because they giving you that confidence to talk crazy to us. Mm. That's what's happening. Mm. They giving you confidence. These black women give you confidence to disrespect brothers like us. So I'm like this. Listen, man, you got to apologize. And Lord Jamar said, yo, you know what? Fuck it then. You're going to stand on your culture. Because my thing is, and this is no disrespect to Vlad. We're not beefing or nothing. All right, sure, sure. He's, a, he's not a practicing Jewish man. He's an atheist. He mm -hmm. doesn't even believe in God. Mm -hmm. But now, all of a sudden, you're back to being a, a right, oh, right, he's anti, right, what? Right, right, now right, you didn't right, switched? Right. You're not even, you don't even believe in God, and, and Farrakhan is a God-fearing man. Mm -hmm. So you're going to, like, say the wrong shit about him. And then to top it off, you got Muslims that have given you interviews. Mm -hmm. Wesley Muhammad, they all come on his mm -hmm. show. And then they've given you protection on the street, and you're going to talk about their leader. I just don't even understand right, right, right. He should, how yeah, you can yeah. even do that. But that's yeah. the disrespect of black men. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, I swear to God, and this is not all white folks, but a lot of them don't even look at our existence. They don't even think we count. They said, just do our shit. They don't think we count as human beings. And you don't even respect an elder. He's an elder. Whatever, whether you like Farrakhan or not, he's an elder. Been married to his wife for 67 years, bro. Been speaking for six. Mm -hmm. He's an elder. I don't give a fuck if it's Al Sharpton. I'd be agreeing, disagree. Sometimes I do Al Sharpton, but he's still an elder, bro. But black culture knows that. Black culture, black culture knows how to respect their we elders. We have to learn. White folks to start talking. Right. Y'all white kids reckless to their parents off the, the store and shit. But look at like, what the look hell? Look at what happened to Whoopi. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. Whoopi ain't Goldberg. She's Karen Johnson. They treated her like Karen mm -hmm. fucking Johnson, not Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Her name is Goldberg because she changed her name. Right. From Whoopi Cushion, because she loved Whoopi Cushions mm -hmm. and Goldberg. She has the she has a Jewish last name, mm -hmm. and they treated her like Karen Johnson. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. see, but they protect their shit though. When you say something off about them, they protect their community. You say something about Asians, they will shut you down. You say something about Latin, uh, we we gotta be better at shutting the Damon, Damon Dash is on that right now. Like shut we gotta shut people down as well, a whole as a whole, I'm saying. Okay. With a, even if it's like a person we don't really agree with, but if they're part of our community, we gotta learn to go, nah, we don't appreciate what the fuck you did. Nah. Because we're first to fight each other at a club. Right, sure. Where's sure. that same energy when right. someone shits on one of our fucking statesmen or elders, man? Are we not doing that with Joe Rogan right now? How you feel with that? Man, my thing is this with Rogan, he said that a while ago. Okay. And I think, no, listen, first of all, a white dude that says nigger, are we surprised? I, I said it on stage, I'm tired of Negro surprise. <laughs> right. Let's stop all that. He said nigger, a white guy? Right. Huh? From Boston? <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? Like, he right, said nigger. Sure. A lot of white dudes, people you deal with have said nigger. Sure. <laughs> Joe Biden, who we vote as. Oh! Yes, <laughs> like, has said blacks need to be thrown in jail. They're fucking animals. He said it in the 80s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But there's, listen, everybody has a time to redeem themselves. Okay. My thing is, what are you doing after the fact? Right, sure, sure, What sure, are you sure, doing sure. after the sure. fact? It, what is Biden doing? I'm trying to get a black woman to right. the Supreme Whatever. Right. What are you doing after the fact? Sure. Joe Rogan, that shit was 12 years ago. Literally, it was. Because he had hair still. You could tell. Right, right, okay. And I, re I saw that video before. They pulled it up before on him. Okay. Then they pulled it up on him again. I think it's because of this whole vaccine shit.
Mm-hmm. They're, they're like, all right, and he's he has such a big, big platform. They're yeah. like, we don't take him down. He said, nigger, get right. the black people. Right. Now they're digging for everything. It's it's kind of lame because I've seen that already. He's mm-hmm. addressed that before. And I've seen Joe Rogan grow as a person because sure. he has all kinds of people on his podcast. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And he he even says, I it was fucked up what I said. I did that. I was whack, but I don't do that anymore. Right. Which I like. If you you have a chance to change, right. That's cool. Now if he keeps if he does it again, then fuck him. Right. Sure. But that was a move sure. that somebody's trying to take him down. That's what I see. I agree. I you agree. understand. I agree. And I as agree. far as Joe Rogan, Rogan is not a he's not a culture vulture like mm-hmm. that. He's mm-hmm. not. Mm-hmm. He's very white. It's mm-hmm. like he's like he's very white. He doesn't like try to go be, around right, rapping right, and shit right, and right, doing all this yeah yeah and then let me fuck black women and i'm not Ooh. saying there's anything wrong and don't take this like there's anything wrong with interracial relationships but a lot of times people do it for agendas they do the shit for agendas they do it shit because you don't you hate yourself so you're gonna try and find solace in somebody else that probably don't even respect your dumb ass mm. you That's see if you love somebody you love them because you're complete and you're like i like this white person i just like them it's going good I don't need it because you're mad at all black men, fuck off. Right. Or you're bl- mad at black women, fuck off. Do it because you really right. love that person. How dare you use another person for your own insecurities? Yeah, yeah. You know, because I don't know. I know during the during the Trump camp, uh, campaign, a lot of interracial relationships, boy, change real right, quick. Right, right, right. I know people who had white girlfriends that were like, I, can't, I, I didn't know she was uh, a Trump supporter. Right. Fucker, what right. do you mean? Right, right, right. I'm just saying they have the what is what did Paul when he said they have the complexion yeah, for the protection. Because you know, well, I, well, I'm from an interracial relationship, <laughs> and, and I say, you know, my, my parents got together in the late '60s, and yeah, that and wasn't you, easy, brother. And you're a product yeah, of yeah. interracial. There's yeah. a lot of my friends. Yeah, that are yeah, that wasn't an easy situation. I mean, there wasn't not. like a no trophy. You you had to you, you get your ass killed. Like, now yeah. it's a little more fashion it's, it's, and cool and to have that. Cool, and that's fine. I met I met white women that are dope as fuck. Like. Asian women that are fantastic, boom, boom, boom. But me, I'd rather be with a black chick. Ooh, so that's I'm just saying, right, me right, right, and that's right, how I feel. Right. But if you're gonna do that, it better because you love them. Like mm-hmm. that's what I, and listen, I don't control everybody's shit. But a lot of times I even had some some black women get mad at me. Oh, I remember that. And they're still attacking me. They're still right now attacking me, like because they, they're trying to accuse me of shit. Like call me rapist and all kind of, and I've never done any of that shit in my fucking life. Wow! I don't even talk to women if they roll their eyes. I walk away. I I'm afraid. Right. I, don't, sure, sure. I don't do none. Of, I don't touch girls when I'm talking to them. I grab them. I don't right. do none of that right. shit. Sure. People know how I rock. So there's a group, and I'm sorry to say, it's a group of black women that are coming at me on still to this day. They're still coming at me trying to build some bullshit around me because I made a video. I remember. I was I was coming from getting my hair twisted in Brooklyn. And I'm at this in this black area, bro, Bushwick. Right. So that's, and there's an advertisement of mm-hmm. a white man and a black girl in mm-hmm. it, and it's a health insurance thing. And I like to make jokes. I go, "Oh, really? Is that what we doing? This white man has better insurance than a black man. Why can't a black man be in this post?" I said, "Why are you going to be in black ass Brooklyn with this interracial?" I said, "There's tr- subliminal messages sure. trying to break up break up the black family. It's facts. Sure, sure. Because they're trying to be diverse in a lot of right, these, right, right, and, like right. using these commercials. Now it's all this diversity, but it's always a white guy with a black woman. A lot of times, a lot of times. And I go, mm-hmm. "What are you trying to say?" Every time it's diversity, it's always the white guy with the ethnic people. Mix it up because let's be real. There's black men with white women. There's white men with black women. Mix it up right. like evenly, not this. So I just was talking about advertising. I wasn't talking about date who you want to date. I, it wasn't about that, but I had what women say, what's wrong with dating white but men? But that sneaks into your psyche, though. When, when, when yeah. you start seeing that kind of stuff, when you start seeing that black yeah. on black love, of you see different kind of stuff. You start yeah. thinking, oh, maybe I could be over there. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's all yeah, subliminal. Yeah. It's right. all sure. advertising tricks sure. and subliminal messages. Psychology. Right, right. You know, psychology of persuasion. There's a book, Psychology of Persuasion. And and black women were like, in, in my DMs, what's wrong with dating a white woman? But, but fuck you. I was like, really? You're yeah. like, literally, are we in high school? You know what I mean? And I was like, you're dating. I date a white man. I said, don't. Bra- you're bragging about dating a white man. That's some Bedouin shit. Hey, hey. If I'm if I'm a black dude and I'm bragging about dating a white woman, that's slave buck shit. Right. Sure. sure. Period. Shout sure. out to Tariq Nasheed. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> right, right. I don't. I don't know. You guys. You guys battle each is. other. But no, I like. No, I, no, no, I mean, listen. Dr. Umar, is she, I, but I like. I watch everybody. All of them. Get, yeah. I'm a neutral case. I just go. There's shit that he says that is real. I go. Right. I like that. There's shit that, first of all, nobody, none of them should be fighting. We all need each other. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. Right. So I'm saying that with that whole interracial shit, it shouldn't be like, you shouldn't do it as an agenda. And a lot of times it's from trauma. We do this shit from trauma. You know, when they say, you need to get you a 
mm, yeah, you right, because they mad. And all you're doing is your your soul is being tortured. Right. Sure, Why sure. you laying up with a motherfucker that don't even like your ass half but the let me time? Ask something. That's all I'm saying. Does that mean that everybody. we'll never see Godfrey with someone besides a black woman? No, no, no. Nah, hell no. Never and then people say, have you Whoa. fucked? Listen, I'll be 100. They say, have you fucked other women? Of course I have. Right, right, right. You know where countries I've traveled? <laughs> I'm in Sweden. What do you think I'm going to fuck? There's some black Swedes. Sweet. No, there's some, but you got to find them. But there's these bad, fine-ass, white, hello, God, for the you dude. Right, 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 right. I'm like, okay, but yeah, but right, 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 yeah, yeah, sure. Right, I mean, right, I'm right. in Asia. Right, the right, fuck you right, think right, I'm going to hit? Right, right. I'm looking for a black neighborhood in China. There's no right, black neighborhood. Right, right, right. right. I mean, but to settle down. I'm Taoist. He's really good. I'm in Poland. I'm so in Poland. We get it. We get it. Yeah. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Time up. Time up. Goddamn, time up. Well, you yo, I'm just saying. I feel you on that. I hope everybody is taking what I said and not try to screw up what the fuck I just what I try to twist it. And they will. They're gonna try. They're gonna twist it anyway. Try and twist it anyway. You said what you said. Yeah. Let's go in a thousand. Okay, here it is. A couple things I want to ask you about your career. Um, you know, being such a proud black man, which you are. Yeah. Why'd you do Soul Plane? <laughs> oh, let me tell you why. Oh, I'm happy I did it. <laughs> Shit. Let me tell you why. First of all, I went to, it was weird because I was at a party at the writer's house okay. before Soul Plane came out. Mm -hmm. I met the dude, Chuck something, and, mm -hmm. and I was at their crib. You know how LA is. Uh, sure, sure. And then months later, my, my agents are like, Godfrey, there's this, there's this, there's this, uh, this thing called Soul Plane, a script. And they go, I'm going to tell you, it's ghetto as hell. Oh, my. And he goes, but Snoop Dogg is cast as one of the pilots. And they want you to read for the other pilot. I said, Snoop is the pilot? Shit. Right, sure. Fuck it. If cause Snoop is an international superstar. Hell fuck yeah, you smart. heard. You make I said, if Snoop is the pilot and I can be sitting right next to him, hell yeah, that'll be dope. And it was actually, if you watch so many, it's actually funny. As oh, fuck. yeah, yeah. I fuck with you, man. It's actually I smart. Like no, no, no. I, I did it because. By the way, everybody was in that room okay. auditioning. Oh, okay. They're not going to tell you. There were so many say motherfuckers it. in there. I ain't be got no weapons. Right, right. right. Say it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> say it. Tell it. Motherfucking bitch ass nigga. It was a, I saw it, a bu It was packed. As soon as they don't get it, they be like, did you do that bullshit? Because because I, you I, was we, there. Right. We both was there. <laughs> because it was in LA. And at the time, yeah, is this bothering you? No, you good. At the time, there was nobody was working because, you know, sometimes Hollywood keeps us out of shit. Sometimes they just get tired of us doing shit and they'll just go, we're not, yeah, you're not working. You know, like in the award shows mm -hmm. where they just don't give us anything anymore. They get mad right. if we win. A couple, like once Black Panther broke broke mm -hmm. records and then actually got into Saudi, you know, Saudi Arabia, um, Black Panther was the first movie that broke Saudi Arabia, the ban. Oh, really? They, know yeah, that. no other Marvel movie other than Black Good Panther. Shit. So, you know, once that happens, then they don't let us in any other, they, they start going, let's make up some hundred more Spider-Man. Right, sure, they sure, get mad sure. when we have, whenever we take one step forward, they they make, you know, it pushes back. So there was a time where nobody was working. Nobody had auditions. So this was the only audition at the time. And I was like, shit, fuck it. Let me go in. Yeah, okay. And, you know, uh, my man, um, Jesse Terrero's brother, yeah. Yuli, Ulysses Terrell, who was the casting director. You know Jesse Terrell? Yeah, he directed. Jesse video directed. Big video, time video, big time video yeah. director. And that's my dude. So Yuli's his brother. I know Yuli forever. I went into the room, and I read the script. And it's, you know, everybody's going, motherfucker, kiss my head. Whoa, that, that. Right? right, right, right. So I said, hey, man, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an African accent. Nice. He's like, what? I said, yeah, everybody's doing the same old shit. Nice. I said, let me do it differently, because Snoop is already the gangster motherfucker. So why don't I make an opposite so we can have a better dynamic comedic comedically? I said, because African-Americans and Africans are always button heads. So we can have that dynamic in the fucking plane. And so I was just like, I just made up my own shit. Everything I did was all improv. Really? No well, script well, follow. Well, I, I just that. went. They said, just do it. And I said, all right. Okay. So I was like, wow, wow, I did all that. You know, right. what are you playing? Ah, these are his niggas. I did right, all right, that right, shit. Right, right, And I had, and Snoop. And that was when me and Snoop bonded for like, we were there for like 10 days, me and Snoop, me and Snoop. Bishop Don Juan came by the mm -hmm. set. Mm -hmm. he sure, was, and sure, he yeah, met, yeah. and what's funny is Bishop Don Juan came by the set, greeted me first, because wow. I'm from Chicago. Nice. And the Bishop was like, man, I'm proud of you, baby. I'm proud of you, baby. And then Snoop was like, oh, yeah. hey, how you know this right, motherfucker? Right, right. I was like, man, I said, Snoop, I knew Doc Bishop before you. Right. He goes, what? He's like, nigga, you from Chicago? He said, man, I love niggas from Chicago. So wow. that was how Snoop found out I was from Chicago. Because right. Bishop saw us as amateur comedians. 
You know, Bishop was there oh, when yeah, we were oh, yeah, doing oh, yeah. open mics. He's kind of my play. He's kind of playing. He was Bishop shit. Magic Don Juan, Don Juan sure, before. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. people got to understand that. Well, you, well, I see you've been yeah. around, you've been around a lot. Like, like, like yeah. Nick Cannon called you in to, to work for him. Now that that tripped me out because you, you did Wild and Out though, didn't Nick, you? I just listen. Brought my old ass on Wild and Out. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to say you're older for the old school of, shit. But uh, D nice. Ray's still on it. Right, right, right. You know, there's. You know, Corey couple, Holcomb ass was Corey, on it. Corey, Shit. And he Corey, about 70. Shout out to Corey Holcomb, <laughs> right. who can still dunk at, right. at, at his age. He can still dunk because, you know, he had a 50 inch vertical. He was a ball player. Right, I've right, known Corey right. since I was 16. Okay. Corey was, be, uh, he went to a high school that was kind of in the same conference as my high school, but he came, he knew guys in my neighborhood on the north side. We were at the Boys Club of America. He would play basketball at the Boys Club. I was a baseball guy. So I knew Corey. We were like teenagers. Mm -hmm. And this is before comedy. Remember James Hanna? Oh, yeah, Shout of course. Hell of a right? yeah, James Hanna went to high school with me. Okay. Hanna went to Lane Tech High School, and he was writing for Harvey and yeah. all these guys. He did comedy before me. When I saw James okay. Hanna sure, doing sure, comedy, sure. I was going to track, track and field practice. Damn. Okay. I was on my, I was doing the hurdles, and James right. was like, I'm doing comedy. I'm like, good luck. Right, right, Jumping right. Jumping right. hurdles and shit. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, yeah, um, I, Nick Cannon had been asking me to do Wild and Out for years. Right. When he was wearing the turban and shit, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. Goffy, yeah. man, you got to do this shit, man. I was like, just because something's popular don't mean I got to be on it. I you know, just because, I, and I, I get, it's dope. I go, I see right. you guys battling. I watch it all. I see, I see you guys doing your little thing. But I didn't think it was really for me. I didn't, you know, I wasn't really right, interested right. in it. But then I did Nick Cannon's Dr. Sebi documentary. Nice, okay. See, that's up my alley. I was like, right. he was like, yo because he has a house in Jersey. Mm -hmm. And he goes, yo, man, I want I want you to be in this Dr. Sebi thing, especially during the pandemic. You know, I was showing my ass during mm -hmm. the pandemic. I was doing a lot of oh, videos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so they were like, Nick was like, you got to do my Dr. Sebi thing. I said, all right, I'll do that shit. And I did it with Common and all this. I'm in that. And then he said, you got to do my podcast, you know, Nick oh, yeah, right, Cannon's right, right, class. Right, right. So I was like, that's up my alley. I'm talking about pro-black shit. I was like, yeah. Let's do it. So then he goes, I'm at his house, three hours for Nick. He goes, so you going to do Wild Now, man? <laughs> I was like, all right, motherfucker, fight. Right, right, and he's right, like, no, right. dude, it's going to be dope. It's going to be old school shit versus new school. I said, okay, cool. That sounds good. So right. I did it. I did season 16, did season 17. Now I'm about to do 18. Damn. But I'm going to write on it, too. I'm going to be a consultant on it now, too, with right. Rip Michaels. Shout out to Rip Michaels from Chicago. Yeah, 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 Rip yeah, Michaels. You know, it's funny that, yeah. that um, Nick, I, 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 went to, I took him to, uh, where did we go, to uh, Alaska when he was like 16 years Isn't old. That great? And I remember he, he, he had like little gloves on, you know, like, like <laughs> Nick, my, most of you know, he was young, wearing yeah, time, yeah, time is, to be cool with like Eddie Murphy and shit. Yeah, gloves. Is, and I remember uh, after the show, we did in Alaska, we went, went back to a hotel. I'm in my hotel chilling. Yeah. I get a knock on the door. And I look in it, and he's two bad sisters. I said, of oh, course. shit. I said, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> I said, yes, yeah, they say. And it's Nick Cannon room, bitch. No, no. They're like, oh, I said, Nick, no. They're like, all right, man. The old ass. Oh, and I'm Nick, like, damn. Nick stays with I knew hotties. then, and this was this was Nick like he was 17 years old before he was still doing Nickelodeon yeah. at the time. And so here was so Nickelodeon I, ass. So I had an agent. I had an agent one time. Nick I, I was about to get signed with an agency, and they kept talking about Nick Cannon. Like I, I'm yeah. about to be signed. They're like, yeah, yeah we're gonna sign you. But this guy named Nick Cannon, because he did the, the drum line. Yeah, like, oh, that was fast. So I was like, That's okay, movie, Nick, man. okay. Yeah. They were like, yeah, he's gonna be good. And I was like, okay, yeah. he's gonna be great. I said, motherfucker. You signed me or him? <laughs> well, we just signed him. I was like, you motherfucker. Yeah, I hate and, that um, shit. So what I was going to say about Nick was, you know, a lot of people tease him about being soft and, and not being corny, a real right. nigga, corny ass nigga, cheesy right. motherfucker. Yes. And I just, and I sat there and I was like, okay, he's not the straightest nigga around, no. but he's a smart brother Very. and a caring brother and helped yep. out a lot of people. Let me tell you. And keeps winning. And, and you've got to yeah. respect that. And I'm so happy that I've been around Nick two years now, more mm -hmm. two years. I'm around him because he has a daytime talk show now. Sure. Which I'm a write, I'm a comedy producer on it. Nice. So we write me and Rick. Shout out to fucking Rip Michaels, man. Mm -hmm. This dude does so much for mm -hmm. so many people. Mm -hmm. Funny as fuck. And he came from the mud too. Has yeah. Yeah. He came from the mud. Was homeless in New York City. Yeah. I'm saying he came from the mud. Homeless. Shout out no to one Rick. gave him shit. He pretty much created his own shit. He sold out the Barclay four times. Yes. Sixteen thousand people. They have a Rip Michaels Day in New York City yes. in Brooklyn. Yes. Shout yes. out to fucking Rip he Michaels. He deserves it. And he's coming out with his cooking show. His Urban Kitchen cooking show coming out in, in this month. It's dope as shit. He has Michael B. Jordan on it, all kinds of Rip Michaels. Shout out to you, bro. That's mm -hmm. real shit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, um, I, when I started getting around Nick, you know, I really, you really start to see Nick Cannon's empire, literally. And people say, why did he apologize? I'm so happy he yeah, did. Yeah, sure, sure, see, sure. people yeah, kill yeah, me when yeah, they go, yeah. man, why you gotta apologize? Mm -hmm. Don't listen, you're looking at the surface bullshit. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop with this. Soapbox shit. I hate Fuck you. that. Let him apologize. Right. 
You want to see what the fuck this man is doing? This motherfucker feeding hundreds he of people. Hiring hundreds, yes. black yes. people, yes. hairdressers, stylists, oh, come on now. makeup artists, come on. caterers, cam Food. cameramen. Yeah, yeah. Boy, black people are working, man. Yeah. This Nick Cannon, man. I'm tell and he's I thought just, about that. He gives so many black people work. Mm -hmm. It's and then he, of course, he has white people working. He has, but he keeps it black. Mm -hmm. But he's very fair. He's such a businessman. I love it. He wants to see you shine. I, I watch him. Yeah, yeah. He wants come on. to see. He goes, Nick, do man, do that shit. Like mm -hmm. that's Nick. He wants to be better. He wants to. He wants to copy you. He's like, I want to be better. He he goes, I need you to write for my. He go. He can say, dude, can you write for my um daytime talk show? I said, man, I be traveling. He goes, I don't give a fuck. Zoom it in. Man, he goes, yeah. text it in. Fine. Yeah, so come on want, now. He wants the best around him. Shout out to Nick. Nick, can, I'm yeah. telling you, and I see his. I, I met his dad. Dad is my complexion. Dignified. I, was, I didn't know who the guy was. I was like, who's this fucking Denzel, Danny Glover type looking mother? <laughs> right, he, goes, right. he goes, that's my father. I said, oh, that's where you get the fucking, mm. uh, yeah, his yeah. pops is no yeah. joke. Like, yeah. you know, and he, Nick is, Nick, and if people say whatever they say about his baby mama, Nick can afford them. Mm. How about that? If you're taking care of them, that's all that we mm. care about. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, Nick takes care of his I kids. Yeah, he's it. attentive. I see. I watch him. Mm -hmm. He's fantastic. I am Team Nick Cannon. All right, let me ask and you. not because I'm on. Well, I, I know because I no, refused no, no. it thousands of times. Right? So no, I feel. You. I just like his business. Bro, you ain't got. You can tell the fools out doing. here. But, but what he's doing though, right. Nick is the is the truth. I'm gonna give you another so, example there. Yeah. Tiffany Haddish. Another. My she sister. may not be. People say she's not the funny, but she looks out for folks. And I, it's funny. You gravitate towards those kind of people. They, they, they see it in your heart of help. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I wonder why they. If, I know why, but you know. But you, let you, me tell you, know, you something about Tiffany Haddison. That's my sister. For first off, my little sister. And people can say what the fuck they want. Tiffany is a funny person. Now listen. As far as jokes, she. Know, first of all, Tiffany knows. What she needs to work on. Mm. Tiffany's so aware of that shit. Mm -hmm. But Tiffany's like, I don't give a fuck. Let him talk. Right. Good. Tiffany has so much under her fucking sleeve. They don't even understand. She's she's an A-list person now. She's literally, is. her friends are Meryl Streep. Mm -hmm. I see her talk. I see them FaceTiming her. Meryl Streep. All these motherfuckers. I'd be like, what the hell? People, I'm, I'm a Yankee fan. New York Yankees. Yo, what's up, Tiffany? I said, that's my man. I'm right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. Tiffany, I've known her since 2003. You've probably known her. It's just yeah, as yeah, long yeah, as yeah, me. Yeah, 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 but yeah. she didn't have no dough. I used to give her some money. I used to, and Tiffany likes to say this. She said this before. I helped her read better. Because mm. I remember Tiffany be hanging out with me, and she goes, You know, I can't read that well. I said, How the fuck can't you read that well? Mm. What do you mean? I said, Really, mm. Tiffany? People can't I said, read well, well, this is what we're going to do. So I made her read the paper every day to me. I said, mm. we're going to read because you're going to read teleprompter. You're going to read things. You have to know how to read well. Fuck all that. You're smart. You, I know you know a lot of shit. Boom. Got her into reading. Got into learning foreign languages. Mm. Yeah. I gave nice. her Japanese. That's why she, when she ever does Japanese, that's the shit I gave her. The Japanese God, shit. Damn, you know? huh? I told her. I, I said, you have to learn how to read, man. And I got her to fucking elocution. Right. Reading. You have to learn how well, to pronounce it. You're going to be on an award show. This right. is me just thinking. You might be on an award show, Thinking reading a teleprompter, introducing someone. She's doing that now. Right. I got her into like uh, uh, new age stuff, like law of attraction shit. I have all these, but I always had a book in my hand. Law of attraction. And she's doing it better than me, shit. And, it, and she's really using that. Ch she ch I saw her do it. She changed the way she thought about people. She stopped being negative. She said, I'm not going to dog anybody anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think positive. I'm going to just Beautiful. work and I'm going to help. And then, what, and then she's always said this. She, I said, what are you going to do if you get loaded when you get money? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help foster kids. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Foster children. And then I'm going to help my friends. That I, she has not changed. Mm -hmm. She literally, she put me on Netflix. I didn't ask her. She was like, because I did her live uh, show her you, live right, uh, tour. Right. You toured with her, right? With the the they the she ready right, whatever. Right, right. I did the tour. She called me said I need you to host my tour, my live tour. I said all right, I'll do it. Ten city tour. Mm -hmm. Did it with Shantae Williams. What shout out to Shantae and um um what's her name? Um, Flame. Yeah, Flame Monroe, Chicago. Right, right. Flame Monroe. A, 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 and, um, Avita Rodriguez. A, 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 yeah, Ada Rodriguez Ada, Ada, and yeah. um um. Uh, what's her name? Damn, it was the other um, April Macy, mm -hmm. and so and yo, a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. all a whole bunch of them, yeah, yeah. and yeah, man. And I hosted it, and then she was like, in on our fifth city, she guys, you, I'm about to do the second season of of they she and you right. need to bring your ass on. I said, she goes, listen, motherfucker, I know you should have been on your third hour by now. 
She goes, I know that, but I need you. You need to get in. You, you're gonna just do it. That's I what said, I like about her. She try, said, she helps people get she's in. She's like, I'm gonna get, and she pulled Barbara yes. Carlisle on, man. Yes, yes, from uh, the uh, dust. Right, right, right. right. That's Barbara's like funny, yeah. you talk uh, about. Uh, yeah. Barbara Carlyle has been on the road for 44 years, yeah. and Tiffany reached back, right. brought in Tony Woods, who deserves, right. Right. which some people should have been hooked him the fuck up. Right. Right. You know, Tony Woods, boom. Right. right, sure. And I was like, Dean Edwards, and, and she's helped 12 comedians in two years. Two no, years. No, 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 shout out to her. Shout out, no, we, no, don't shout come, out. we don't come from the era of motherfuckers helping each other. Sorry to say that. But we don't come from that era. Well, you know, it's funny. It's you absolutely right. We don't no, come no, from no, that era. No, you're absolutely right. We you're come right, from the right. era. This is my shit. Right, right. Cuffing shit. That. And right. shout out to Kevin Hart for hooking up his team. I right. don't give a fuck. That motherfucker, they eating. But now I feel like people are doing that more and more. It's getting even better. Coming, because let me tell you something. Even my show, people are coming out like you to support me. But you I was like, hell people, yeah, I'm doing yeah, it. But some people like, you know. But you know, I remember how you treated me. All right. I'm a different make, man. I ain't no fuck boy. Right. No, 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 no. Without I a doubt. I don't walk like a fuck right. boy. My energy ain't like a fuck boy. You can't boy. tell me nothing bad I about you, boy. I ain't no I mean, I ain't no funny acting dude. Right. I'm like, if you call me out, I go, damn, that was fucked up. You're right. right. I, I need that. Right. You know, because you're like, oh, I don't know. Right. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. You know, <laughs> That's how I talk. I was going to say, oh, this nigga, I'm going to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, <laughs> because hey. when, I was, when, I was, when I was calling you for t today, I was right. like, I was like, oh, shit, this motherfucker ain't even answered. This motherfucker don't want me on this. <laughs> well, we had, we, we had the wrong number for each other. Know, right. wrong back then, back recently. We yeah, had, we had numbers saying, for a while. I'm that dude, and I wish, and, and the people that come around me, I try to keep those cats around me. I want to be checked if I'm doing something wrong. Let me know. This business doesn't correct you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go, hey, man, you shouldn't do, oh, I didn't know. Because right, right. a lot of times you don't know, and a person will go, he did this to me, and they'll right. hold a grudge. Mm -hmm. sure. And I go, because, sure. I, because our business, me. our business is full, is 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 full of narcissists, depraved people, and like bitch ass people, niggas, fucked up, dysfunctional family, fuck it's, boys. But that's the reason that entertainment is fucked up because mm. it lets you hide all that abnormal shit. Come on, bro. All these mental come disabilities on. come are in entertainment, and they're not addressed. But but when and you address, you, and they'll be like, "But he's eclectic." No, he's a fuck boy, mm -hmm. and she's a fuck girl. She's put full of shit, mm -hmm. and she ain't shit. Right. And he's a narcissist, and he a backstabber. I'm right. just sure. saying, this no, is no, not no, angry really. shit, but this is what what dwells in our business. Come on, man. Come on. So brother. when they meet a guy like myself, I'm not really that much of a narcissist. I'm a narcissist to a point. Right. I get what but you're I'm like, I'm kind of. People say you're kind of a normal motherfucker. Like, yeah. I just happen to be kind of funny, and but I'm like. I want to be checked on my shit. Right. I'm always reading up on right. disorders. I'm like, make sure I ain't got that shit. I'm like, you but, know. But one thing, I, grabbed, I, one like, thing I liked Mama. about you that reminds me is you're a straight shooter too, though. Yeah. You know, there's no there's no fakeness with you. And I'm being honest nah. with you. That, you, know, I, you know, that's why it bothered me when I, when I was texting you. I, I thought I, I was you calling you. He was texting your old number. I had an old number. I was like, damn, this ain't God. I was no, like, I said, Pierre, what's you up? You went Hollywood on me, but all right, no, man. No, you had the wrong number. I didn't know goes, it. He's like, you yeah, yeah, did your number. I was like, that's, yeah. I don't, haven't had that number right. in there 10 years. Right, brother. right, right. So, was, no. So, he was yeah. texting so an Arab dude. What is this? What the, keep it, who is Pierre? So, here, let me go. How many voices can you do, man? Oh, Who can't you do? You? No, 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 no. Don't try me, please. I can do your... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. That's about it. no. I got that. Uh, 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 let, let, me ask that. You, let me ask you. Of course, uh, of course you shut the... Uh, uh, I got that. Is that got, me? That's P.I. Hell no. Nigga, I was... Okay. But uh, anyway, so but no, you, I'm going to talk cool. a little slower. I, no, you, uh, you're not going to talk. You're going to be Godfrey. you. So, <laughs> so Godfrey Cambridge you ass nigga right here. You're nigga. So... <laughs> the, the the interview, I mean, the voice that shut the internet down was Steve Harvey. It was. Come on, man. man. When I saw that, if yeah. you close your eyes, you were Steve Harvey. The one you did on your, I, on your show, my, In God You Trust. My podcast is we, called In God Free We Trust, we trust right. on the Gas Digital Network. Yes. Um, I got a shout out to Louis J. Gomez and Ralph Sutton because they brought me on the network. I wasn't doing shit. They said, like, hey, right. man. And they were comedians. That, a comic that was tired of, he got fired from Sirius XM too, like me. Right. I got fired right. from them. So, but when you did that impersonation of, of him, man, and I did it on just a, on the fly, I was what? just like, all I did was like, I was like, "What you say?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah, what your ass say?" <laughs> and I just did that, fucking around, and that uh -uh. shit went. It went crazy. I got it four or five through times. The roof. When friends of mine were showing me, like, "Look at this," all right, nigga, I see. I know I see. Okay. <laughs> and then Steve Harvey was like, "When I see your ass, I'm a, I'm gonna whoop your ass, boy." I could just, I could see his. Voice in the text. Oh, yeah, you got me <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Cleveland, y'all. <laughs> it's the little thing, what? man. <laughs> Where and Where? why? 
<laughs> and then I started watching. I watch Family Feud when I'm on the road. I right. watch it. I go. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. I just watch. Have you seen Family Feud Africa? No. I don't it's know. fantastic. Really? Got, go to go, uh, just What are some of the prizes and shit? Yeah, I don't know. Who do you win? Prizes like, at new school. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Shoes. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Mr. What the fuck? It's yeah. so good. He, he's, he's the host of it? He's in South Africa. And he, and it's and it's really good. It's African teas. And Steve be like, uh, "How you pronounce that?" Oh, really? My yeah. name, Steve, is Elewele Malewi. Right. And he goes, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it's it's really good. It's right. so, um, it's right, um, right. Um, so, so there's no so there's no really beef. That was just fun. No, that was fun, fun. man. Yeah. I'm, first, Steve, you're so famous right, now. Right, right. They imitate you. Right, sure. The imitation is a sincere. But some people can't take the shit, you know. But some can't. I was doing Shannon Sharp, Listen, skill, skill, all day skill. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Skip. You, uh, uh, These football players are lazy, Skip. Uh, 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 My mother good. always said, if a frog ain't gonna jump, then you might as well kill it. Right, I'm like, right, what? Right, right, right. That's funny. He said, Skip, listen, Skip. He was cool with it. <laughs> you gonna tell me, Skip, <laughs> that, that 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 you get paid five million dollars, Skip, <laughs> but you don't want to play ball, Skip. Listen, Skip. Well, you good, man. You and good. I did, and I was on a show with Roland Martin. Roland's my man. Yeah, I like Roland Martin. And Roland, the one with no neck, the guy. Really <laughs> Roland be like, like "Listen for your old damn beat rolls. I'm gonna tell like you Roland. right, <laughs> Roland Martin. <laughs> right, I did the show. Come and on. Roland Alpha Phi Alpha. Shout out to his, yeah, his. Yeah. You know, he always shouts it out. And I and I was on his show, and he goes, "Godfrey, I have a surprise for you." I was like, "What?" He goes, we got Shannon Sharp. I said, God no. damn. And Shannon was on the, the phone. And he goes, Godfrey, you imitate Shannon. I said, this motherfucker will get me killed. And Shannon was like, you know what? I used to be upset when people imitate me. But that means that you made it. That means that you famous. That's fucked up. Right, Skip. 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 <laughs> Skip. Listen, Skip. I'm going to tell you something right now, Skip. Sometimes... <laughs> I love man. Shannon you do, is my dude. Not, not only that, you do celebrities. But when I was watching your show last night, you do just voices of people, white people, and just, I do, just yeah. all that was killer, man. One I was like, man. this nigga, yeah, that right there, man. man. And I should be doing way more voiceovers, which is another thing. That's why this business, people think this business is is, is easy. You can because they 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 reward a lot of mediocrity nowadays. Watch your mouth now. Lots, nah, Watch your they mouth. do. A lot of mediocrity <laughs> right, is being sure. rewarded, and and it's not any people like you, man. No, I mean it's not like we're not working. Right. I'm just saying. I like it when people do well. I'm a kind of guy, if you have talent, you want to see other talented people. Sure. Like, I like to watch my musician friends. They're fucking dope. I go, he can play the fuck out of a guitar. She can play the fuck out of violin. If you suck, you don't know how to play that shit. That's right. not me hating. You're bad at it. I like when people are good at shit. What's wrong with that? Right, right, right. Music right. stinks now. Sorry. Right, right, music right, is right, garbage. Right. Hemina, 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 hemina. But why don't you say something uh, like that? People uh, think yo, you're a yo, hater. Yo, right. uh, oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah. yo, yo. Yeah. Little head, little face, little eye, little foot, the fuck? Let me ask little you talent. Let me ask you, do you think you've been <laughs> overlooked? Oh, yeah, of course. I've been overlooked. Fuck yeah. For real though. People, man, this is when you know people are rooting for you. When when New York garbage men stop their truck going, man, when the fuck you going to get your own show? Yeah, I hear that a lot. Yep, I'm saying, yep, 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 I feel when, you. When, when city workers are stopping their buses right. going, my man, we waiting on you, dog. Like in the street. No. I love the way you fucking, you speak up for us. You keep your dignity, your pride. I had James Worthy give me that prop. James Worthy, who, you know, James Worthy. I was on the street in L.A. And he's tapped me on a big ass hand. I said, like, like, you know, you know, like in Scooby-Doo, it's James Worthy. Right, sure. That's yeah, that's I was like, James. oh my God. I was like, yo, James Worthy. Right. He goes, I just want to tell you something, man. Whenever me, whenever you're on TV or whenever we see your comedy, my whole family watch you because you're so dignified. Keep up the good work. He's like, don't give up, blah, 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 blah. That, that's some cool okay, shit. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up yeah. with this. But here, and, and I respect that. I've do been you, overlooked. Do sure. you feel but do you feel like that's the reason why? Because of the I don't know. Because, you know, I, because, because you ain't playing the game. You ain't kowtowing. What do you I think mean, the reason is, man? Shit. You got enough teeth in your mouth. You smile enough, nigga. Shit. I don't you know? smile all the time, though. Oh, that's the problem. I don't dance so when 32. there's no music. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. See? You know what I'm saying? I, I, say I dance team. when I hear music. Yeah, yeah I don't dance yeah. when there's no music. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. just do that. So, yeah, yeah. And, and people know I smile when it's supposed to be oh, apropos, yeah. man. I, right. You know what I mean? I smile when we're, we're looked at as human beings. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. like, I smile when I see intelligent black people doing the right thing. But we're in a business you know I mean? that that's not really. No, uh, they, they know, reward rewarded, foolishness. Right, right. But my thing is, I'm not taking anything from somebody's hustle that's their business there's 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 lanes for everybody and we're very diverse we're not a monolith right. black people are so different, different. 
And that's why when people see nerdy black people, leave them the fuck alone. Mm -hmm. That is part of us. Right. You need these nerds yes. to help you with this tech right. shit. Right, sure. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sure. That's the problem. That's the fault of us, though. Right. That's the fault of us. We think it's one nerds way. Nerds right. were always shit on in the black community. That's some nerdy ass shit. Right. You go to Cornwall, school. You go women to school. did it too. Mm -hmm. He nerdy as fuck. Mm -hmm. Then you mad when these nerdies are not dating your ass and they're mm -hmm. billionaires. Right, sure. You see? Because you hurt them. Right. You know what it's like when you're shit on, when you're mm -hmm. 15, 13, yeah, can't go on a date because a girl think you a nerd? You see what I'm saying? This is some of your fault too. Right. So we need our black nerds that are lawyers that are going to get you out of a jam and are going to work on you in surgery. Preach, Fuck preach, is wrong with preach. you. We don't, we don't cultivate in black nerds. And black music. nerds are here trying to... There's a, there's a thing called Afro Comic Con. Which is, I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've done it two years in a row. I did it with Sinbad's son, who's an animator. Mm -hmm. And it's Afro Comic Con. People need to know about Afro Comic Con. It's the comic book, black comic book collectors that are, it's, it's every year. Look it up. Mm -hmm. And it's small, but we can build it. There are, there's black nerd tech uh, mm -hmm. conferences. We need that right, shit. Sure, Don't sure. fucking put people down because sure. they do their homework. Right, sure, sure. This ghetto bullshit is bullshit. It's not bullshit, but it's like it's it's no, this it's bullshit. thing. It's bullshit. Man. It's it's but it's the shit that was created, bro. This yeah, created man, ghettos man. were created well, for us to stay in them, man. Well, well you know, what I, I said this before. It doesn't have to be the mentality. I said this what about I'm you. saying. I said it's just a YouTube. place. If you know it's on YouTube, you can you know the videos. You can show guns. You can talk about your ops that you're yeah. shooting and killing and yeah, all that. Killing. all day long. You can you show say the black people eat better. Bam. No, no, not just that. But if you say <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a homosexual, oh no, you better, you gotta get Bob out of here or yeah. get a transgender. Why? You know, I maybe if they, you shot a black one, then ah, they'd be okay with it. Okay, okay. But you know, I'm like, still racism why is in that, that community going? too? Yeah, why is that getting to go? But whatever. Yeah, but I, I'm saying like, that community has racism, which they need to deal with. And my thing is, I love when everybody has their rights. I know gay performers, transgender mm -hmm. people, all of them, but black people of that community are are, are discriminated against. Mm -hmm. They need to settle that too. They mm -hmm. they talking about all this, you know, you know, gay community, but they're talking about the white gays. Mm -hmm, sure. They ain't talking about the black ones. Mm -hmm. So they need to settle that too. So all right. Well, what we know. do, huh? I'm gonna wrap. What we do here is what? a thing called IG creeping because you always on social media, brother. Always. Yeah. I like how you and Amanda Seals, you know, are me and Seals, Seals man. Yeah, and good. I want to say this: me yeah, and Amanda like Seals got, you know, because you know Isaac Hayes the third, okay, who has yeah, fan yeah. base. Right, right. Right. I just met up with Isaac Isaac Hayes since we, we in Atlanta because he thought we were dogging his um. His uh, it's like the black IG right. fan base, mm -hmm. and it's here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I spent three hours with him. I went and I met him because mm -hmm. he, me and Amanda Seals were talking about janky businesses just in general. We were talking about fan base. I said I'm on fan base. I downloaded it, but I said Isaac Hayes, you guys teach me how to use it. I don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. He just be on there, not teach me. I was making fun, mm -hmm. but then people took that and said, "Oh, you why are you shitting on fan base?" I said, "Dummy, I'm on it. Right, right, right. I don't know how to use, use it." it. That's what so, you're so then my Isaac Hayes took that. And then kind of made a video going, oh, yo, man, why you lie on me? So then I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come meet you. Nice. I'm going to come meet you at your office, there and we're going to settle, settle it. This out. I told you, that's what I do. Right, right, I'm not going to do right, no right. punk shit and, and send you an emoji, shall right, we? Right. That bullshit. Well, I went up as a man, and then we settled it, and we could. Well, speaking of that, yeah. uh, we, we go on your page, your IG page. We look at certain things. Look at that. And that's one of the things that's we found. That's when I was one. doing a, a character. Well, that, that was a character. Thank God. That was a character. No, okay, that okay. Well, I don't know, nigga. Oh, know. that was a time I, I was on crack, bro. <laughs> and then I well, finally well, got out the mud. One thing I like about you, you know, you, you go there. I do. You go there. It was one of those. The mustache. Yeah, well, we got another one up there. I, I saw another one you did. Well, no, that's when you, okay. First, uh, that's first, Eddie first, Murphy. When I was, I was at Who's Your Caddy premiere. And you can see Eddie looks so fucking wealthy. Who's your cat? He went to that premiere? I was at the Who's... Yeah, because he, he was... Eddie Murphy was... Tracy oh, Tracy, she produced was it. Produced, that's when he was dating yeah, her. That, I was say, what were you doing? And, okay. and I was... I saw Eddie, and my boy's like, yo, there goes Eddie. He was by himself. I walked to him. We talked about like 30 minutes. And I was wow. like... He goes, hey, Godfrey, what's up? I say, like, first of all, you Eddie Murphy me. just said, hey, Godfrey. Right, sure. But I played it off. I'm like this. Yeah, what's good? I'm like, Eddie Murphy! No, 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 I was fucking happy as fuck because he's our hero. Right, sure. And he goes, "What's up?" And I go, "Hey, man." And he and then he the first thing he says is like, "I just finished watching Fat Girls, and you're the main reason why I kept watching. You were fantastic in it." Wow, he watched. I that? couldn't believe it. I was like, "Oh, cool, That's Monique, man." You and Monique, right? Monique, was Monique, Monique, right, yeah, yeah, fat, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, "Oh, wow. fuck!" You know that fucked yeah, me up too. Yeah, yeah. And so we were just talking. I said, "Are you gonna come back?" And this is years ago before he started saying, "I'm making my comeback." This is before Seinfeld interviewed him. I said, "You coming back?" Well, he goes. You know, sometimes I want to, but sometimes right. I go, well, you haven't done it in 20-something years. Of course you're afraid. But you're you know what? Let me ask you something. I, I, think, I think he wasn't a real stand-up. 
I think he just jumped into it because real stand-ups don't stop. No, they don't. You know, they don't. Or, you know, but, but, but I think he, like Chris, he was, Tuck, but he was that, that talented, though. There you go. Now that's that true. His, that's he, true. He, his stand-up specials Come on. are fucking fantastic. Still funny to Spawned this day. Many of us. They're and it, real stand-up. I think, but he got he got so famous, and he was so good. You know, his movies. He was doing movie after movie. Yeah. But I understand yeah. what you're saying yeah. because he didn't do enough of them. Sure, but. He, he, his, but it's just his fucking specials. Well, maybe because but, we want him to do more. But too. also, there is some footage of him on stage. He did Carson. He's done Carson. He did stand up on in no, on the comic it. strip. But he, but he did what? What do he have? About four years span. But he was five quick, years. But he was that good that, and he was lucky because he was. Well, you know, Charlie Barnett didn't know how to read. Right. That's how you got Saturday That's how he got SNL. Yeah. So, but Eddie was so good, and so. I would put. I don't put, think he's the greatest stand-up. Right, in the right, world. Right. No, but he has some of the the greatest like specials. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I don't. But right. see, he when did. we go into that, Eddie Murphy was an influence on all of us. Without a doubt. So he is a great stand-up right, right. for that moment. Sure, I don't. Like so because he influenced all of us. Sure. We even act like him. Hey, motherfucker, we do it. He's, and he like Richard Pryor. Any sexiness on stage is because of Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy made on, man. stand up rock star yeah, status. Yeah. He took it. You wear leather and yeah, shit, yeah. medallions. Fuck he that, did that yeah, shit. Yeah, sure, sure. See, I wear this because of Eddie Murphy, leather on stage. It. The late great uh, Charlie, Charlie Murphy. Murphy man. And that's, isn't it funny how Charlie, Eddie took Charlie Murphy's face and made it famous? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Cause, that's funny. Because he's older. And that was the podcast I was on Charlie Murphy's podcast because I remember Charlie, Char and in that video, I go, Charlie. What's the name of your podcast? It's called the podcast. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds like I'm too damn. Boy. It's so called the podcast. The podcast. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. That's how Charlie got... Murphy. Yeah, That's man. What, I'm saying. what? Hold on. What the fuck happened? That, that was, was it. Is that Steve was Harvey. Nah, that was an. I was doing an Arab dude, and that was Obama. Uh, and I was doing like an Obama thing. Uh, damn! Look how you went all in. I was like, uh, I told you, uh, this is a very good show. Yeah, this is all in, man. Uh, I'm a yeah. big fan of Pierre. I love it. I, I love watch it. you all the time. Well, no. yeah, I, I mean, you're, I appreciate yeah, 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 I appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. it. You're pretty angry. You're a yeah. cantankerous old thing. Yeah, I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. <laughs> Man, Godfrey, brother. This is a very good show. I'm very happy you're to be here. You're stupid. <laughs> very I, good show. You're a very, very you're funny. take my damn show. Very funny. All right, before we get you out of here. We <laughs> this do is a panic room because I'm panicking. So many black people here. So many black people. You're very good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm probably funnier I'm than you, you, but yeah, I'm just yeah, not yeah. a comedian. I'm just letting you roll. I'm letting you roll. Well, this is the portion. Just not a comedian. Trump, can you spin the wheel? Can you spin the wheel, Trump? I'll spin your wheel. Very stupid game. You, that's that's Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why you're stealing. You're talking about Shucky Ducky. Right, right. Let's be real. That's no, whack, whack. Right, right. God damn. You talk man. about stealing. That's a very that's very stolen to me. It's just vertical. The other one is horizontal. That's for not, keep giving. But, but Trump, Trump, Trump he, I'm a very, I'm an asshole. I am pretty uh, proud of that. Well, in fact, Trump, yes. if, if you could trade places with somebody, if it lands on trading places, who would you trade places with and why? If it went to the biggest lie, you could tell, tell us what your biggest lie you ever okay. told, Trump, as many of them. If you want to get something off your chest, just whatever it is you want to get I off your I chest. I think I have. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a celebrity crush call, you, you put the phone up, you pick up. Okay, who would you pick? Okay. How you lost your virginity? Ooh, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, you get it. Tell us a real secret. We got a little money. Spin again. And a book passage. And that's what it pretty much is. So what we okay. do is we let you spin it, all right? And we give us a Chicago spin, brother. Real okay. Chicago spin. Aye. Come on. Drum roll, y'all. Drum roll. Give a drum roll. I don't know who, I don't know what character doing it. Spin that sucker. Go on. Really? Chicago spin. See what's going on. Yeah. What's what that? that? How you lost your virginity. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it was just popped over to Celebrity Crush. So you, it just popped over and I moved it. But celebrity, was it Celebrity Crush? Or, or how you lost your virginity? Which okay, one you? I lost my virginity oh, no, on a no. Celebrity Crush. Hell no. No. <laughs> uh, no uh, so yeah, two minutes to paint the picture. Tell us what happened, man. It was just, uh, who gave me some ass? Damn. It was this girl. It took, yeah, it was in high school, 16 years old. So 16 years old. Like this okay. chick, yep. And she was, uh, I did it in the basement of my parents' house. But how'd you know? How, how long did you date? You dated for a while? No, I, no, I just kind of met her, hung out with her. She come to my football games and shit. Two or and three then, days? A week, a week? Like about two weeks. Two and then weeks. I got White girl, it. black girl. White girl, black girl. Oh. Oh, Chicago black. Heavy black. Yeah, Chicago yeah. black. Yeah, ooh, Chicago nice, black. nice. So, so how'd you say? I had a black girl and a white girl. Yeah. How long? You, how long? You lost your virginity to both. Two. Yeah. Well, no, shut the hell up. I'm not so, lying. So, so how, how could you sneak some girls in your house with your father? No, but he was at work. 
Mm. And I could walk to high school. I walked to school. Really? So we went. And I, Did she knew what it was? What time was it going to be? There was blood everywhere. Really? I was like, holy oh, shit. shit. You know how you don't she know. Young. What the right, fuck right, is right, that? Right, right. You killed I'm looking. Oh! Uh, right. You know how in a movie when they're like, who's dead? Right, oh! right, right, right. I was Damn. Like, and it was like her thing broke. And right. I was like, fuck. I oh, you the first. Oh, her, her, I was her virginity too. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It was a pool destroyer. It was a pool of blood. Oh, yeah. It was like forensic files. And then there was blood on the bed. Oh, Scientists say that Ooh. Godfrey was on top of her, oh. and I was it was one of those things. I like that. But that was that was my, when I was sixteen. Wow! And wow. my celebrity crush did, did 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 Godfrey hit it again? Yes, I did. You of course. <laughs> you yelled bloody murder. I, I, I did it again. I came back on this murder scene <laughs> for one more try. Wow! Yeah, I did. I I hit it again. Yeah, I was hitting it for a minute. Wow! Did White it, and a black girl. Did it, stop? Oh, yeah. did it finally stop? It finally stopped. Oh, yeah, right. oh. Daddy got mad. Shit, found oh. out. Hell no. Yeah. She was like a punk rock chick, the white girl. The black girl was my girl in my neighborhood. And the white girl was like a punk rock chick. Right. It was dope. You know what? I've had I've had a white girl and a black girl before. I feel like mm -hmm. white girls try to take the dick without any problems. You know, like, like some slavery shit. Like, you ain't gonna fuck me. Sisters whoa, be like, what? ow, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sisters be like that. It, ow. It, white it, girl be like, bring it on. <laughs> you pound them. Pound it. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You're cock. Right. Cock. A sister be like, like ow, ow. That makes me soft when they do that. You're caught. You're caught. Yeah. God damn. I'm like, wah, wah. You don't hear caught. You don't hear caught. You're caught. You, you like wow. to in me? It yeah. is in there, right? Are you, yeah, yeah. Are you saying the obvious? Yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. redundancy. Right, right, right. right. Well, what do you think my You're all is? in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stop being so obvious. Shout out to my cousin before he got married. But, he had a, and he had, black women just say the same thing. It depends on what you get. You get some black girls to do the same <laughs> shit. My cousin reminded me of a, uh, he's a Latina girl to him. Ooh, you're so deep in that shit. <laughs> you're so deep in that shit. <laughs> what is he right in college? You're so deep <laughs> in, in that shit. My celebrity crush would be like, Megan Good, man. Make the phone call. Hold on, make Megan, the phone call. I, where's, where's your cell phone? Really? Your cell phone? Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I think want to hear what I got it a number. Like. Megan no, Good. No, no, not a real call. Here. She's single too. S Holy crap. So, so hold on. Damn. If you were calling Megan Good. If I call her Megan Good. You got, let me, hold on. You got two minutes to, to tell me how you either get to your house or you, she get to your house. How would you make that? Let me, let me see. How, how does she, wait, how would she get to my house? No, no. You wanted to come to your house and get some ass or you want to go to Whoa. her house and get some ass. What's I don't want to disrespect Megan Good like well, that. Well, you know what I'm saying. She's a romantic such a dignified evening. lady. A romantic I'm, evening. I did a romantic. To go out, let's go out and eat something. Yeah, but I don't she, want to come to I don't right. want to say that on this. Okay. I'm not disrespecting Megan Good. Yeah, She's okay. a friend of mine, been a friend of mine a long right. time. Okay. And let me tell you something. I'm going to say, oh. hey, Megan, hallelujah. I'm glad you're single. Praise God. There is a God. Lord have mercy. I prayed for this. Mm -hmm. wow. I prayed that your preacher husband would leave. Mm -hmm. That's what I prayed for. Mm -hmm. God is good. Oh man, let the church say amen. <laughs> well, I would like to take you out, you know, maybe just go out as a friendly date, you know what I'm saying? I know you just broke up, with, but I'd like to just go out, maybe eat something, maybe go to Slutty Vegan. Mm -hmm. That would be good, right? No, mm -hmm. no, no Slutty Vegan, no, I'm not insulting you at all, oh, no. but that would be, she's probably a vegan, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I would just like to eat, tell, you know, see where, where, say where your head is at. Just have a nice conversation, nice intellectual conversation, and that's it. I just want to be able to talk to you mm. face to face. Mm. That's it. That's how, that's how you. That's how you. That, that's and. Hello, Halle Berry. Oh, yeah. hell no, nigga. You, 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 you Listen, ain't, I just want to go out with you, maybe go to Slutty Vegan or something like that. Okay. You ain't Hello, that. Regina Hall. How you doing? Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Hello, Janelle Monae. You got them right. Yeah, What's going on? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You keep the black. I got a couple. You keep the black. Well, you I keep got a black. Few. We keep it black. Here's our swag bag. We got a little goodies for you. It's all black products. Oh, Look them out. Pull them out. Let Look at see. them. Let, me Let see folks it. know what it is inside. Got this. All okay, right. You got the book. Now you got the book. My hundred homies and phonies. Of you, what? you call people. Of where, of where is it from? Of Hollywood. You of got Hollywood. phonies in here? Come on, brother. Shit. Okay. Can't wait okay. To read that oh, okay. One. You stupid. All no, right. That's mine. What else you got in there? What else you got there? You got this. Oh, oh, Panic Room t-shirt. Yes, you got Panic Room t-shirt. Where's the t cup, man? Yeah, shit, ain't no goddamn. <laughs> now look, those are some Comedy dope. Hype car. I yeah. want the cup. No, <laughs> that's my word. Read the comment. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you get to read the comment comment, because I'll give you that cup. But hold on, hold on, hold on. There might be something else in there, man. Well, what up? Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, shit, Comedy man. Hype cards. And that's it? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my bad. Yeah, oh, beads? Yeah, you like a oh, Okay, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was candy shit. No, hell no, hell no. Yeah, comedy have candy. Nah, those are real beads from Girl Bay for you, man. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, look at it. That's yeah. what's up. I like Ma this. Might match your outfit. I don't know how you Let roll. Let me see, let me see, man. Yeah. All right, Bro, yeah. you cool with that? Yeah. Cool. Read the card. Just, I give a shout out for the girl who read the card. The, the, card, card. the card was in there. Card. Uh, no, they ain't Oh, well, no my girl from Celestial Goddess did those. Celestial, oh, no, yeah, there it is. What's up? Okay. Thank you. I am grateful for your business. 
You know she write that to everybody. No, she not. It was for you. She knew it was for you. No, <laughs> she yeah. went for me. Where's Godfrey at? Yeah, well, she didn't need that. <laughs> no, thank you, Chris. Celestial Goddess, thank you. I appreciate yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. These so beats are rock. dope. These yeah, are like yeah, heavy. Heavy too. They yeah, they no heavy. Bullshit, I like that. I want, I want a whole bunch. I'm going to get some more of these. I like yeah. these. I'm going to get you a cup. But them cars, man, are dope cars. They got a lot of history. It's, it, and you and your boys can play this. It's like, it's like a game of cars. We're drinking around. Ooh, about, oh, hip, hip comedy cultures in that car. Comedy you know, cultures? Yeah, Hell about yeah. About certain things. You you know probably most of the answers. So if you ever want to play them, you, That's can, dope. Get at, you can get it at comedyhype.com. All right. Slash shop. So you know should I tell them where they should follow me? Yeah, well, of course not. Yeah. This is the time you do Where that. Where Instagram, right? Right comedian. This your camera right there. Where, right? There's four of them. No, that's the one right there. Instagram, comedian, Godfrey. Uh, also, check me out on uh, my podcast and Godfrey We Trust on the Gas Digital Network. And if you want to check out some of the episodes, all you got to do, sorry, okay. is, <laughs> is type in Godfrey and Godfrey We Trust on YouTube and press the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? It's very important that you do that. Blow this, blow this podcast up. Blow oh, our stuff up. Yes. We like the Joe Rogan's on. We got enough black people. We yes. could be in the millions. And shout out to the 85 South. I did their podcast, oh, DC nice. Young Fly and Crazy Ass Carlos Miller. They that was dope. Let's they like blow Different, up yeah. this podcast. Shout yeah. out to Mr. Mike James, who's been killing it this weekend on some real shit. Is it the funny Mike James? What is it? Funny man, Mike, Mike James. James. We'll put it Funny down. man, Mike James. Follow him too. And Akeem Woods, who's another opener, and Artie Fuqua. There it is. Shout out to that, and shout out to that, um, the um, Atlanta Comedy Robert. Theater, which is in Norcross. Yeah, lying yeah. motherfuckers. It's so, so funny. That'd be cut off. <laughs> but no, shout out. Hey, look, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, God. You're open. Take her his ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. Thank you, God, for coming You're welcome. Through, man. Tru truly love it, man. man I appreciate it, brother. Keep me some knowledge. I can't wait to come back. Let me know, bro. No, not for real. I appreciate no, it, y'all. Hey, y'all, thank y'all yeah. for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or hit the notification bell. Right there, right there. I appreciate it. Another great guest this week, man. A true friend of mine, man. I love him, man. Yes, sir. And I'll, uh, I want y'all to support him. The boy's a beast on stage. Check if I'm and I don't tell though. everybody yeah. that he's a beast on stage. I know some of y'all already know this. Follow him, man, and follow me, and we'll holler at y'all next week. Thank y'all, and don't forget to support. Bye. Bye. Uh, Bye. Later. Bye. <laughs> he's so stupid. This is Godfrey, and I've survived Pierre's panic room. One man with a purpose was able to complete the interview. <laughs>